because combination of real of real world being on fire and lots of personal illnesses made us unable to game unable or not up for gaming the last few weeks uh but now we are back and we have no viewers and that is fine right well for posterity's sake we've been <laughs> off the past weeks and here's why yes yeah so there will be a vod for two weeks you know we'll see it's okay it's a resume credit <laughs> All right, let, actually, I'm gonna uh, introduce this. Uh, hello, I'm Chrysla, Ms. Chrysla, the GM. Uh, other people introduce, other players, players introduce yourselves while I do social media thingies. Okay, I'll go first <laughs> since I'm next to Chris. Um, mm -hmm. I'm Dracus, I'm playing Klaus, and they're a, a synth type person. It's kind of spacey. Shouldn't be immortal, but I am. And I definitely sell drugs, <laughs> which has become my defining character trait. I'm not, but he will. I'm Merc. I play Dune, the wolf blood. Not a proper werewolf, but close. Uh, ignorant people might call us werewolves, but they would be wrong. And the werewolves would not appreciate the comparison. And um, that's about it for Dune. Oh, um, I am Sunburst, and I play Pricely, who is the top saleswoman of uh, our travel agency, of which I've forgotten the name, but I know it. <laughs> She's very good at her job when she can remember the name of the travel agency. What is it? Please, it's on the Discord. Carve. Yes, Carve. Yes. I knew the name of our travel agency. I'm very good at these. Okay, thing is, we've been away for like two weeks, so. <laughs> yeah, it's been a minute, y'all. I swear. But I put all these documents on the Discord. Memory sorry, Chris. I'm sorry, I don't have reading comprehension when things are on fire. That is true. Uh, uh, I'm playing Patricio. He is the team's resident vampire and hacker. Uh, lots of computer skills, not a lot of combat skills. He's, and also our illustrious leader. Right. Sort of like sheltered rich kid is how I've described him in the past. Yeah, that seems a fair way to describe him. But so good with the computers. So good. Uh, all right. So uh, our last game a few weeks ago, uh, some some of our some of our team uh, made it to a an abandoned space station to pick up one of their clients uh, whose path to Eden went a bit astray. Uh, so they did, you know, they did what any good travel agency would do to rescue their. Uh, both their client and their reputation and go and just go get the client. Uh, uh, but for some reason, uh, we won't get into out of character reasons, but in character for some reason, uh, Fen Pricely just didn't make it to the ship. And we're like, uh-oh. Uh, so we're gonna, I'm gonna stick with the, the pattern of having kind of an individual series of scenes to start out, but instead of being a flashback, this is really only a flashback to Pricely's interesting adventure in the middle of last game. <laughs> Computer. <level>. Excellent. <laughs> I'm yeah. sure nothing too strange or terrible happened to them. Of course this is, not. This is such a nice town. And you were in such a nice neighborhood in this nice <gasps> town. Steel town. So yeah, so... Precisely. Uh, so the team kind of made their arrangements uh, with the ferret, which is the ship they contracted at very short notice. Possible smugglers, who knows? And then you had about a half hour to an hour to get your shit together and get ready to 
go up into space and through the Stygian gate, which is never fun for anyone. Even compared to, well, it would take us hun hundreds to thousands of years in cryo sleep to get between systems otherwise. But no, Stygian gates are still fucking uncomfortable. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, what what was would Pricely have done between planning on getting on the, planning to getting get on the ship? Like, what what would they have done between you know point point A, Moss Eisley Cantina scene, and point B, getting on the Millennial Falcon, which was the plan. For the original. Um. What did Pricely do? That's a very good question, to which I have an answer. And that answer is um, that there... Uh, I'm trying to think if there was a, a customer, or not a customer, if uh, she tried to get a sale and um, ended up on an accidental uh, road trip or something. <laughs> Uh, I don't know. Let's just say you're not entirely so. So you're uh, you're going after you're looking for a client, or you're going through the the message boards, or like going to meet with a client. I mean, I'm looking to increase my sales at least thirty percent. So if I see someone that might possibly look like they might want to travel at some point, I will pick them up. <laughs> uh, well, you are uh, the. The bar known as Hell uh, is in Steeltown, where everyone more or less looks miserable or skeevy or untrustworthy at all times. Would because, that be Hell with one L? Yes, because <laughs> this is Eden system with an I, yeah. and I like the I like puns and mythology. So, yeah. Hence, exit Reasonable. Eden. Shoot, I didn't realize I was gonna have to come up with a scene. Okay. Uh, um. Oh no, no, you don't have to. You just, just tell me. Like, what was her plan? Was to go and look for people to. Oh, her sell plan was on. probably to just go on the ship. Um, okay. If she sees someone that might be looking for a for an adventure, she will, you know, send them to the agency with her card. But um. You know, <laughs> I think she probably just planned to get on the trip with everyone else. So, I hear I'm echoing on someone's system, but not now. Okay, phew. That gets hella distracted. Where was I talking about? All right, so, uh, so you're just, you know, so taking a leisurely stroll through Steel Town towards the docks and keeping an eye out for people. Uh, and you do notice uh, there is a a young, uh, hot, rather attractive uh, changeling person, uh, kind of leaning against one of the uh, boarded-up storefronts, and just sort of, sort of minding their own business, sort of probably reading something on their cell phone, just chilling. See, they have mm -hmm. cute little, cute little horns. That just kind of fit the the shape of their face and their cheekbones just perfectly, and mm -hmm. they're just so so pretty. All right, and this is hell is a, a way station for uh, supernaturals. No, wait. Um, it's a bar owned by a vampire, uh, as as y'all noticed. Um, and there are supernaturals there, but more specific, it's more of a, a spacer bar, so. Like I said, Moss Eisley Cantina. There are people who, um, you know, spacers come in through the through the space yards, and they just need a place to get a drink. Uh, and okay. it's basically all hours kind of rough and tumble party because all these people are from other systems, and no one has a standard uh, sleep schedule anymore when you're that close to a a shipyard. They do mm -hmm. have a scheduled bar fight every day eleven. Twice a day, actually. At 11. 11 and 11. The 11 stops, and 11. The stopped clock okay. is right twice a day. And when it's right, it is time to fight. That I was awful. Don't let quite an impression the last time that he, in, he participated. Literal impression of yes. body and wall. But so you see this, uh, so you, so Pricely with their uh, proclivities would notice that this, this attractive young person is definitely a, uh, 
they're definitely doing shabby chic and they're doing it well. So you suspect there may be, they may have a slightly higher income than the, the standard steel town urchin, but they're definitely like, they've got little, like whole little newsies urchin look going. So they have a little like, you know, okay. uh, newsies cap and. So like, they're clearly trying to look like they're slumming it, even though they're not. Yeah. Perfect. Okay. Um, yeah, well, obviously I'm going to walk right over to that person. Mm -hmm. Um, and yeah. Okay. So I'm going to be like, um, Hey there, how's it going? And I just got their cell phone. Odds oh, going great. Uh, what do you need? Not much. Um, I was just uh, looking around, seeing, uh, checking out the clientele here. Um, you look like you're not from around here. Oh, well, I'm, I'm moving product for, uh, you know, a, a specific, uh, let's say my employer. So, uh, this yeah. is, this is a good place to move it. Like, what do you need? Yeah. Oh, uh, not much. I was just, um, uh, do you, do you travel much at all? Um, like, is it business? So it's, it's definitely or? business that you're here for, right? Oh yeah. Yeah. But do you, do you, do you not, or are you a cop? No, I am a travel agent. <laughs> oh, okay. I'm sorry. Fine. No, I thought, no, I, 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 I really, you know what? If you, you do your business. I have no problem with that. Although, unless you're selling something really fun, I'd be down to get um, on that. Well, I mean, we've got, we've got something new that uh, a lot of, uh, let's say our people are pretty into. Uh, it's uh It'll keep it'll keep you going for about twenty four hours. Ooh, and uh, okay. Here, let me give you my phone number and just very smoothly just hand you a paper business card, which still sometimes happen in in Eden City, even though like digital is usually the way to go. But obviously, it's okay. I too have a I have a, <laughs> have a physical business card. <laughs> So, so there is a, an interchange of business cards, one with an interesting substance and the other with cash. Mm -hmm. And we will just say that happens because it is, well, I mean, it's broad daylight, but it's steel town. Like mm -hmm. this is the least creepy thing happening on this corner right now. So yeah, I mean, if anyone asked, I was just drumming up business for the business yeah. and uh, Our perfectly uh, legitimate business. And they're like, um, so yeah, um, it's like, oh, I've actually heard of you, of your company. Like, um, yeah, I've, I've met, a uh, Klaus here and there. <coughs> God damn it, Klaus. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, they, um, we, some, we frequent some of the same, uh, night spots that Klaus likes to take clients to. Yeah. So is this so, a good relationship or a bad yeah. relationship? They're, they're cool. They're cool. Yeah. I mean, sometimes a little, I'm saying a little impulsive, but you know, they're cool. They're cool. I, they're really to... like, they know, like, they know everything about yeah. it. Like you want to make sure you're ha going to have a good trip and not things yeah. like, wow, they're like okay. really good at that. Okay. Whew. Yeah. Okay. I'm so glad that you say that. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, I know. A little weird, but it's cool. Like, um, yeah. So, I mean, I mean, you've got my number two now. So, I mean, if you have a client in need of a, a hookup, I don't mind sharing business. Okay. I mean, I'm, I'm cool. Great. You're cool. Yeah. And I mean, again, if you ever need to, you know, say travel very quickly, you know, I, I do my best to stay out of trouble, but yeah, it's always nice to know 
you know, a way out just in case. Because, you know, weird, weird stuff happens in business. You never know when you'll have to change jobs, like, really fast. But, yeah. I cool. completely agree. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, the, you know, carved travel industries is really, really wonderful. So, if yeah. you ever need us, we are here. And this is my personal number. Mm. Is it, like, thank you. Nice. Uh, yeah. I'll give you a call when, I mean, when you get off work. Oh, that sounds delightful. So, yeah, I'll call you and we'll, you know, we'll hang out. I go to Saga. It's cool. That sounds fantastic. So it's really the, the clubs out in Market Town. They're really like, that's, that's really the growing culture. It's really yeah. cool. Ooh, okay. I've I've been wanting to like check more places out. So that would be really, really great. Oh yeah, so there's always more places in this town. Like it this is a mega city. Not as big as mega cities obviously in the rest of the expanse, but it's like there's a lot going on. Yeah. So so uh you know, have have fun with that. It's uh it's new people have been calling it spike, but uh it it's pretty good for us. Okay. So you have you have some fun. I will. I will definitely have some fun. Okay, right. thank you. What was it and um, what was your name again? Uh just call me Rob. Rob? Okay, Fen. Nice to meet you. Cool, Fen. Yeah, I'll see you around. <laughs> yeah, see you. Uh didn't offend him. He's been offended. He's been offended. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> Welcome to gaming with me. Okay, so I was bored with a cute little changeling. Get yeah. some drugs. Live them uh, all that way. So do you do you look at what they you know, once everyone's walked away from each other in a safe distance? and you've checked to make sure you're not being watched, uh, do you take a look at what you've got? Yes. Um, so it looks like a couple of um, kind of clearish gelatin capsules. Okay. Um, and there, there's a kind of powder inside them that's actually a glowy pink. Ooh, pretty. Okay. It's definitely glowing. This can't possibly end uh <laughs> You remember what happened That's last fantastic. time you consumed something glowing, right? Yeah, but she got this from another changeling. It's probably fine. I trust changelings. I trust my people. They've never steered me wrong. Can't say that with a straight face. Uh, uh. <laughs> 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 okay, you know what? Fuck it. I think I'm going to partake of the super fun mystery thing. Okay. Because that sounds like a fantastic idea. Remember, kids, don't do drugs. Especially not pink glowing ones. You bought up a street corner from a <laughs> petty dude named Rob. Hey, Rob was super cute, guys. Was super cute. <laughs> uh, don't do it with my glows. So, yeah, um, you take them, and within about five minutes, you feel like like a nice lift and you feel like you have a nice a nice energy boost you're like oh this this could be nice and you know it's it's not fogging you up too much nothing too and the weird. Pink flies by uh so you know you feel like oh this may might have been a good idea right before this really weird mission thing i'm about to go on that's a little oh, yeah, perfect little idea description uh so you keep heading towards yep. the shipyards, um, and weirdly, so you you've been in Steel Town now and then, like everyone is, um, oh, yeah. especially with your line, you know, your line of work and meeting people and getting them to places yeah. they don't want to be found. Uh, yeah, totally. But this part, of, so Steel Town is very run down, very industrial. Um, you come into this area that's kind of like more like 
almost like kind of East Greenwich Village looking, where it's kind of like Ooh. shorter buildings and cafes. Fancy. And people okay. like, yeah, a little bit fancier. Not super hoity toity, but just like, 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 like I said, like Greenwich. Like Greenwich definitely Village. been a little gentrified. A little bit, like Bleaker, <laughs> Bleaker Street oh. before the corporations came in. So it's like, yeah, you know, okay. young people and drinking coffee and being cool and. You walk okay. past this one cafe with these, you know, fancy kind of old fashioned glass, uh, glass tables that are really cute. And you see this woman there that just looks really, really familiar. Oh, okay. Like you can't, you can't quite put your finger on it. Unless you want to roll for it. I will roll for it. Here, wait, I should have pulled up a, a dice roller, shouldn't I? Okay. Um, or just some dice. Uh, okay, so it's 1d10? Uh, yes, just roll a d10. Nine! Awesome. Um, so that's one success. So I'll say, um, you know, let's, let's not worry about adding in all your other dots right now. Because reasons. Uh, so let's say, uh, with a nine... You, you are absolutely certain you know this woman. Also super cute, super familiar. And it's just like, like at the tip of your tongue, can't quite remember her name. Um, and she's just, you know, hanging out. She's reading, She's she looks like she's looking for someone or, or looking out for someone to meet up. Mm -hmm. So she's not okay. like completely closed off, like leave me alone, I'm reading a book kind of cafe okay. city. It looks like she's there to meet someone. Okay. So she seems very open to talking to people. And she's accepting smiles of people who walk by and just, you know, seems really friendly. Okay. I'm going to walk up to the cute girl. <laughs> yeah, you are. Yeah, I am. She's a... Yeah. Uh, doesn't yeah, seem to I be think I'm a master bisexual. I'm about this. <laughs> Uh, you can tell she's not a changeling, but there's like something still that that tip of the tongue kind of feeling. Mm -hmm. She's like, "Oh, hi, hi! It's 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 you. I'm sorry. I like we we know each other, right? I've I've been thinking the same exact thing, and I cannot place it. Oh my god, I know. I oh my gosh." Well, I knew, and well, yeah, so, I mean, do you want to talk? Maybe we can figure it out. I mean, yeah, let's do it. Let's figure it out. Yeah. Okay. Wait, what was your name? So, um, I'm Fen. Fen? Okay. Um, I'm, uh, Pricely. Oh, it just, it's, it's I don't recognize the name, but you, you still look so familiar. It just, is Pricely your first name or your second? I'm sorry, but I mean, you know, there are a yeah, lot of oh names. Yeah, no, that's like my first people. name. And like, I, I work in tourism. So it's like, you hear all kinds of names from people just like all over the galaxy. And it's just, you know. Okay, that's really weird because um, I work in tourism. Oh, so that's that must be how we met. Um, like, what what companies have you worked for? You know, I hmm. like I've worked for, and she really starts basically reading down your resume. I've worked for Andromeda. I've worked for Ilium, and I was in Illyria for a long time. Like. Um, I mean, did you work for any of them? I mean, some of those are like big, like fuck off corporation, megacorps or whatever. Okay. So it's, it can be easy to like lose people. Okay. That's people really, really, like, really, that's a really resume. specific resume. Where'd you, where'd you, that's so funny that I haven't, hmm. Okay. Can I, can I roll to... Yeah, give, give me another just straight D10 roll. 
Straight D10 roll? Okay. Nine! Woot. This this dice spot likes you. I am very jealous because dice yes. spots ate me. Um, so with a nine, uh, so not only do you recognize, oh, she looks like you. That's your face. Yeah. And pre, you know, happening. Uh, and as you realize that, you also realize that creeping up all around the two of you is a great big thicket of fire thorn that is just sort of pulsating, glowing red. And she doesn't seem to realize this at all. Don't smoke the fire thorn. <laughs> um, we firmly established this. Rule one with class do not smoke the fire thorn. <laughs> I just have a note on my sheet. Oh my god, this is so strange. Shoot! Oh, I was supposed to meet my coworkers. Um, I will run. I will catch up with you later. Um, I I gotta go. No, run it's and okay. Do that. I'll catch up with you. I've wanted to work for Carve for so long. I'm sure I'll be right there with you. Why do you say Carve? Well, isn't that where you work? Didn't you just say that? No, I didn't say anything. Well, I could just sort of, you know, see it written there. Written oh, where? On your business card. I didn't give her a card. What'd you give Rob one? In my pocket? Like, <laughs> okay, I'm kind of. Nope the fuck out of there. Uh, I uh, except that you're surrounded by fire thorn. I can't jump over it? It is already too high. That shit grew fast. Oh no. <laughs> please and everything be the around drugs. it feels please super, be the drugs. super bright and vivid. And uh, with a nine, yeah, you're starting to wonder if this is the drugs or if this is regular weird changeling shit. Okay. Um. I mean, well, you, you have a great thing going at Carve. Yeah, I do. I totally want to be where you are right now. And I'm, I'm definitely gonna... going to be. And she sort of reaches into the glass table and pulls out a big glass dagger. So, um. Like, um you know, the only thing standing in my way is you. And the fire I'm thorn. Gonna run. The only okay. thing standing in your way is me. So I, I'm gonna I, okay. let's make something happen. I'm gonna run. Uh, okay. Uh, roll for it. Give me a straight d10 roll. Oh, please like me. Uh, no! No, not one. No. We might, we might need a new changeling in the near future. <laughs> oh no, I not want that. Why no? This is this is the fun of taking <laughs> risks. I know. Ben, <laughs> you do your best to to leap over the fire thorn, even though it is at least five feet high at this point. And instead, you find yourself in in the hedge, except the hedge has turned entirely into fire thorn. And it is scraping against your skin. And as it does that, you are reliving all sorts of memories. Things from Arcadia, things from your old life, things oh, no. from your new life. Oh no. People and places. Uh, and they all, and you try grabbing at them before the hedge can take them away. And it's, not you can't tell what you're holding on to oh it's, and behind no. you is this you know woman and this young lady and business casual who looks exactly like you coming at you with a giant dagger very slowly you are moving as fast as you possibly can or trying to and you just cannot outpace her slow leisurely casual gait oh no Oh no. 
And this goes on for a while until you wake up in your apartment. <laughs> uh, that was a bad trip, yo. That was a bad trip. You're not, you don't remember getting here, but you know, you remember what just happened, but you, uh, your clarity is still the same. You have, you do uh -huh. not have any additional derangements because you know, you rolled a nine. <laughs> so, was that the drug? Uh, roll, roll a re real roll. Like, uh, oh, fuck. Where okay. Where's where is my character sheet? Roll plus three. Right. Um, I have it pulled up. It's, Given a second to load. Um, so what should I roll? Um, uh, I'm going to bring up your sheet, which I should have had up already. But I do I roll hedge then? Um, or do I roll? Um, oh, I should have rolled like persuasion or something. <laughs> I didn't even do any of that during that. Um, do I roll mind? Oh, shoot. I'm looking at your character sheet, and I accidentally gave you Mage Arcana. I ignore those. You are not a mage. Sorry. Again, uh, yeah, just roll, um, roll, uh, Wits, and... Okay, so that's a three. So it's plus three? Uh, what? I'm trying do I roll three dice, or do I roll pr plus three? Roll Wits Occult, so that would be a plus four. So okay. I roll a d10 plus four. Okay, okay, five plus four, so a nine, a nine. Okay, you are you are medium sure that was the drugs because you do not feel like your clarity has gone down. Okay. You are not physically injured in any way. Uh, but it is, uh, you do check your watch, and it is, like, early the next morning, so you definitely missed your uh, connecting flight with the rest of your crew. So, whoops. We appreciate you for that. Bro, what the fuck? Okay. <laughs> oh, I'm no. curious. Before we move on to what's happening uh, in today's game, uh, how, how do you, what do you say when you call work? <laughs> <laughs> Y'all, I had the craziest day yesterday, and I'm not sure what happened. You'd not be alone in that. <laughs> yesterday was uh, not a good day. I had to go through the gates, which is never fun, and the station was somewhat... Uh, Hedge-y. We could have used your expertise with the edge, but instead you were here. Uh, that, well, um, I... Yo, Klaus, do you know? I have a question for you. <laughs> it was the drugs, wasn't it? <laughs> do you, is Why, that yeah, what you say to her? <laughs> yeah, that's, that's <laughs> what I said. <laughs> it was the drugs, wasn't it? <laughs> Because I you know didn't wrong? play last time, so I wasn't there. I was assuming that I was out um, smoothing things over from the session before that, where I got on the bad side of some drug people. Oh. So, <laughs> so I would have been, you know, running in the drug circles, probably heard through the grapevine. Oh, uh, yeah. Well, you ha so you have run into Rob recently. You you have been able to establish that uh, Archimedes Syndicate weirdly isn't here in the system. They're trying to be, but the locals local system kingpins are like, nope, go away. So you're very sure that you're safe here from those particular guys. But uh, but yeah. <laughs> so is yeah. Rob one of those particular guys? <laughs> Yeah, Rob's a local guy. He's he's total he doesn't he's heard things about these Archimedes assholes. It's like, ew, they're they're scary. They are one of those you don't leave except feet first organizations. Like at least here you're allowed to retire if you just if you you know promise to not, you know, get ruin out, it get for out. everyone else. Yeah. So <laughs> 
But yeah, if anyone has a question for Klaus, it might typically be, be drug related. <laughs> Continue. Okay, so I don't know if I I don't know if it was the drugs or if I somehow ended up in the hedge last night with we someone who the looks like the me. On this system. Is We were bothering the hedge. I do not know if they would know for the in this system from the one we were in, but there, there was a hedge growth in the, uh, where we were picking up our client. We ended up uh, finding a way through, as it were. It may have involved a floor buffer and some knives. <laughs> that was very entertaining, by the way. <laughs> okay. okay. Zamboni of death. But I don't think it would have affected it here, as even through the gates, the hedge does not uh, echo across space and time such as that. I may not know much about the hedge, but I, I can assume it was probably the drugs knowing Rob. Sorry, Pricely. Yeah, Pricely, but you've still got his card. Yeah, and class, you, you know this. Yeah, it's wrong. This, you know. It's, it's, it's probably just the drugs. Whatever you took, I recommend that you do not take it again. It did not seem to agree with you. I don't want to take that again either. I want to know what the hell that was. I was promised a fun time. I was not given a fun time. <laughs> That I can't answer for you. If you had any left, I'm sure Klaus could take a look at it and see yeah. what it was. But probably. Oh, do I have more tablets? Nah, he only gave you basically a single <laughs> dose. Fuck. Okay. Damn it. Okay. No, I took the one that I had. Well, then there you are. At least you won't be able to take it again unless you get more, <laughs> and I would not recommend that. You know, sometimes you meet pretty people at bars and they give you things and you think that the things are fine because they're pretty. And you know what? Most times I trust pretty people because, you know, they're pretty. But here we are. Such a shame. We don't just automatically trust the pretty people. Okay, but you, you, you don't know. But like, he was really pretty, though. Like, really oh, pretty. I'm not arguing with you. I would for it. You know, <laughs> Rob is an aesthetically pleasing person. Even I will admit that. I mean, if you have enough money, you can look like anyone, <laughs> especially in this city. Yay, cyberpunk. That yeah. too. I was actually referring to the fact that you can buy glamours from changelings. Jusho does. Should you so desire them? No, this this guy was definitely a changeling. Like he was. Well, then I you can are. tell that was like him. You though, can supply you know, his like, own. I don't know. So what did I? Okay, so I missed a trip through the hedge. Well, it wasn't exactly through the hedge per se, but the hedge was encroaching on the station, and our client was there. We had to get our way through some rather carnivorous vines, which we did in the end. Apparently, the, the hedge does not appreciate uh, 90 proof alcohol. However, the trip back was much worse because I did not have any more 90 proof alcohol, and I really <laughs> needed some for that damn gate. <laughs> Well, On that note, you can get 90 proof alcohol from the Hell Diner, Hell Bar, if you know the, if you know the uh, bartender well enough, and you ask for the floor polish. Okay, is, is anyone going to enforce any disciplinary action on the employee that went and went off and 
uh, got high instead of going on the life or death mission through hedge infested space station. <laughs> I'll leave yeah. that to our illustrious leader. That <laughs> seems like a pretty big uh, breach of contract of some sort. I don't know. Um, I was trying to drum up business for, you know, for Carve. Things were going well until they were not. I mean, even Klaus knows better than to do hard drugs on while I on rightfully took the day ship. off, okay? <laughs> right. it so do the hard drugs on shift, do the soft drugs on shift. Mm-hmm. A little light uh, leaf. To be fair, this was not supposed to be a hard thing. Uh, Klaus? You're the one who just took drugs. I don't care drugs. if you it to us. Clint, I was trying uh, to get in with a client. I was trying to like, I have, you know, honestly, sometimes it takes a little extra to drum up, you know, to get extra, extra customers. And I'm really right. good at that usually. And then right. today. But yeah. did you describe to us what the drug looked like? Because otherwise we didn't hear it. We weren't here for that. Uh, Klaus, from from what you know of, uh, I mean, uh, okay, Klaus, roll uh, intelligence and streetwise. I rolled a ten on the die. Okay. And I can't find streetwise. There it is. We'll just say you. Yeah, I'm adding seven to that. Ten, you roll it again. Um, yeah, oh, you roll it again. So twenty-one. Okay, um, so you you remember you're 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 a very you're very lucid today, uh, so because you had to be to do all of that researching you were doing on Ar the Archimedes Syndicate and how scary they are, uh, but yeah you you know you're thinking about Rob but it's like yeah he doesn't really push hardcore stuff, he's hmm. more of a like you know the guy at the rave pushing like low grade good quality e that won't like cause that will make money with dumb rich kids but won't cause too much trouble so like there he's not going to be pushing anything super hard or addictive he really is more the like you know low grade acid or low grade psychotropics um amphetamines and low grade stimulants so yeah, occasionally people can, even with low grade acid, can have a bad trip or rather acid equivalents as this is space. So all the drugs are futury and weird, but you know. the basic, the, you know, you, you've got this, the standard categories plus magic. So, cause that sometimes wanders into the drug circles as well. Right. To but either really good or really horrible results. Did you, uh, did you describe the drug to us? Priceless. Yeah. Okay. Sure. Well, that's what you get for. I remember what happened with the moonshine, and it appears that you have not learned your lesson about glowing food. She's a changeling. So much of her food. food glows. Not from a visual spectrum, usually. Actually, the goblin fruit outside your your workplace in the park across the street. Some of that shit's glowing rainbow colors today. It's crazy. Is this a normal it, thing for goblin yes. fruit to do? Oh yeah, okay. that's normal. Then, then we'll stop making fun of eating the glowing I food. Comment about the At glowing food. <laughs> yeah. So, all right. So, any, food, then. any disciplinary action against uh, for your your wayward employee before we move on? Uh, it sounds like we should start like breathalyzing our employees before they show up to work. At least. Klaus fails everyone. Yeah. A, uh, come to work sober policy. Okay. okay. Yeah. I mean, okay. Klaus was so easy to beat. Come to work. <laughs> come to work sober. There, there are definitely a, a like future off, you know, space office depot definitely has items in its catalog that are like, you know, breathalyzer tests and finger prick tests. And, uh, you know, just basically tap your the pad of your finger on the thing and it'll tell you how juiced they are. Like, they, they have all sorts if you just want to order one of those. Mm -hmm. Seems like a worthy <laughs> investment. Yep. I'm going to pay for this too, Fen. I hope you're happy. 
Look, here's the thing. I'm not, I don't know if that was what it was though, because I think that I might have actually ended up in the hedge and I don't know. Well, is there anyone you could check with to see if you were in the hedge yesterday? Was there any firethorn, like a firethorn crop yesterday? We don't know. We weren't here. Um, but you can check with Orchard. I want to check with Orchard. Okay. Uh, there is, uh, basically, if you let the app on your cell phone, you've got it on your cell phone. Or you can go to a kiosk outside. Uh, the app generates its own tiny little hologram of a little girl in a silver mask, or, no, a, non a non-gendered person in a silver mask in what looks kind of like a Roman toga, so that kind of flowy, folded fabric kind of look. Hello, I am Orchard. How may I assist you? Hi, Orchard. Um, were there any Firethorn outbreaks yesterday? There was one Firethorn outbreak in Market Town. at 3 p.m. in the afternoon. It was, it was the, the situation was rectified by the Firethorn squad uh, within an hour. Okay. Okay. Um, that was the time that I... No. Actually, no, it's, uh, at 6 p.m. in Market Town. So, no, it wasn't the right time. It wasn't the... I think, you guys, it was around, like, 1 p.m. in the afternoon because you had just missed the 11 o'clock bar fight. Mm -hmm. So so that was a good few hours later, but then you don't know how don't long know. you're driving. I don't know. Um, also, Market Town, uh, the location... Uh, Orchard just gives, you know, the street location because uh, the AI tracks all of those for the local emergency services. And that was pretty far from where you guys were. Like, definitely far right. in the opposite direction of the spaceport where you were heading. Okay, but I was super, potentially super high, so that might not have been the drugs. It, when you're a changeling... These things can be hard to gauge. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Also, there was there was a fire thorn outbreak yesterday. It's a rare day in Eden when there's not a fire thorn outbreak. At least no. Okay, okay, but okay, okay, okay. okay it also okay, okay. Was, it was a. It's reported as being a very small outbreak. It only kind of took up like a three foot by three foot foot patch. But that's all it had to take up. That's all. <laughs> uh, but it, it didn't get super tall. It was only, it only, and it, it didn't actually go up. It was kind of more like a viney thing where it kind of sprung up out of the ground and went down. And it was like, there are photographs of it. There are, someone took, you know, camera phone uh, video of it. Shaky cell phone. Question. Um, okay. Was the stuff with this station fire thorn? No, that was just regular hedge stuff. Okay. It was green. Or various shades of green and brown. I don't. I don't know if I. <laughs> I don't. I don't know if Ben trusts her own mind right now. Uh, welcome to being a changeling. Or yeah. Welcome to being a lost changeling. Or okay. Dreaming. No, there. There was a woman who looked exactly like me, who was chasing me with a, a glass dagger, and she. She had my life. Like she had my name. She had my all my contacts and all my, my resume. And uh, then there was fire thorn around. I don't, guys, I don't think that was the drugs. No, you, you rolled pretty high earth the day before. You're pretty sure oh, it I did. was the drugs. You, you I rolled am? high at the beginning when you woke up and you're like, you're pretty sure it was the drugs. Especially since that was such a personal encounter. How sure am I that it was the drugs? Um... You got like a 21 in your roll. You're absolutely positive. That's like five seconds. <laughs> well, that, that was more uh, understanding the, the dealer. Uh, let's see. Uh, roll, I'd say intelligence. Yeah, just roll intelligence medicine. Okay. Oh, I rolled a one. <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> no uh, it could 
be the, you know, it, the personal nature of it could be the drugs, but yeah, changelings are fucking weird, man. Like literally, I have weird no idea. Why. You have no idea. Hmm. And you, you don't really care, or you may not really. I don't know. Those clothes. I, care? I don't think I do. <laughs> it's like, like, you know, sounds like seems it. mostly back to our existence at least now. So. She can work out her emotional issues on her own time, as long as she isn't, you know, totally fucked up still. Yeah. Uh, psychotropics <laughs> can definitely bring out people's hang-ups and issues and weird bullshit. Oh my god! Damn, that is cold! <laughs> Klaus is cold. It's pretty warm for me. No one ever said that Klaus was a nice person. <laughs> The number of times you drugged Pricely in the first episode, I'm going with probably not much. <laughs> <laughs> not Lol. Yeah. I don't know how my character ended up being one that takes lots of drugs. But here we are. <laughs> Hashtag <laughs> changeling problems. Supposed to give that that one is the one who was supposed to be the drug dealer. I'm just the dealer, okay? <laughs> 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 You have an in internal computer which actively tells you what your limitations are and you keep track of it. Yeah. So anyway, so uh so all that happened. Uh now uh there are morning more daily or weekly uh drug tests which are fairly non-invasive because space science. Yay. But yeah, Klaus, you're you're having to time your dosages <laughs> much more carefully now. It's okay. I've been sneaking drugs into the workplace for years. <laughs> for Joe, probably not. <laughs> so yeah, we'll say it's about uh two weeks after that incident. Uh, nothing weird has happened. Nothing all but weird. Uh, except we're gonna launch right into the action saying y'all were we're having a nice non boily drink at a table at the saga. Uh, when a dude two tables over uh, starts screaming, flips the table and actually bites someone, uh, tearing some of their arm off. Uh, Bar fight time. Everyone roll initiative. Or rather, oh. everyone roll a d10, oh. and we'll figure out who goes first. I rolled a 10. Nine. Nine! Why am I getting good rolls now, and not when I was trying to jump through Firethorn? You, uh, Dune got a five? All right, so, uh, Klaus, uh, we'll say you can go first, and then we'll popcorn it. Or you can... You have the first action. You can hold your action, or just and pass along to the next person, or do something. But yeah, I'm just gonna look at the mess that's breaking out and say, "Bro," and hold my action until I can actually do something more useful because I'm not gonna be the first to get involved. <laughs> um, I mean, uh, if you want to use your action to study the train wreck in front of you, okay. Yeah, I'd like to see if I can figure out what's going on then. Because people don't just, like, start screaming out of nowhere, flipping oh, tables and attacking not, others. Not, not, in, not, in, not, in, not, in, not in this far. In not hell, right here. Clock, in hell, as soon as the clock strikes 11, the fight's on. That's it. But not in Saga. We don't so, schedule a fight in Saga. Uh, I will say for this, roll... Roll Wits Occult. Fourteen. Actually, what's the cult plus one? Okay, then. Don't 15. worry about it. Still three successes. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. Um, so you see pretty clearly, aside from the whole biting thing, this guy's got fangs, and his eyes are kind of not glowing red, but like very bloodshot. Like, more hmm. so than a standard human. So that is probably a vampire. And that vampire is probably in what is called frenzy. Uh, some of the supernat species do that. Uh, especially ma uh, especially vampires and werewolves. But yeah, this, this guy's 
something happened and they just raged out and that's going to be hard for them to fight off. <laughs> like, you maybe haven't seen it so much as you've heard about it and cleaned up after the aftermath of something like that happening. So it's like, uh-oh, vampires, potentially super strong. Uh, not as bad as a giant werewolf monster, but uh, it's pretty bad. Uh, Having had to deal with a couple of giant werewolf monsters. Uh, you may you may speak shortly to the rest of the party as a free action before uh, popcorning to the next person. Okay, I'm gonna say, well, I think that's a vampire going ham right there, <laughs> and uh, just keep staring. <laughs> okay, who's next? Who wants to go next? I mean, fight's on. We'll let Dune go next, then. All right. <laughs> As a former bouncer at the bar, I feel morally obligated to pile driver this guy in the face. Okay. So, uh, actually, what I'll do is I'll pick up a chair and hit him with it. So, Making I will, a true uh, bar fight. Strength, weaponry, improvised weapon. That's okay. Roll. That is a... And pl add a plus one to that. Six and five. Three and five. Hang on. Fifteen for three successes. Okay. So I'm hitting this guy with a pair. Six. Uh, what did you roll? I rolled a six, but with all my pluses, it came out to 15. 15? All right. They rolled a 13. Uh, so that is... How are we doing damage? Oh, we'll just wing it. Um, yeah, just don't die. It's going to be fine. Um, all right. So what, what, what was your... Uh, what, what, <laughs> remind me again what action Dune was taking in, in the first move of... Or first of their moves in the fight. All right, uh, Dune, being a former bouncer at the bar, was not, you know, knows exactly what's uh, supposed to happen at this point. But, you know, it's been a while, so he stood, stood up, knocked his own chair over, uh, and went for the guy, picking up another chair on the way, and smashing it over his head, probably breaking the chair in the process. Well, okay. over the head and shoulders, because, you know, hard to get somebody exactly on the head, especially when he's biting another person. With a chair. <laughs> With a chair. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I will say uh, it's already eight o'clock. Uh, I'll say you just did two bashing to this asshole. Um, this asshole's kind of like uh, he's pretty. You can tell he's pretty strong, uh, but not as like rock solid. I'm fighting a brick wall strong as some other vampires you might have tussled with. So maybe not so hard to defeat this one. I've also been on the end of a couple of quote-unquote friendly play fights with my siblings after oh, yeah. they turned, and this guy ain't got nothing on them, as it were. Well, also, there's only one of him. Fair. As far as you can tell. So, uh, all right, uh, who goes next? I believe... Do I need to include the other guy in, the, in this... Uh, I will. I will say that if we're using the popcorn rule, I will use the rule of if you don't, uh, if the bad guy, go, if the opponent goes last, they go twice. Then the opponent can go next, given as that I just broke a chair over his head. Okay. Yeah. All right. Um, they will. So yeah, there's blood pouring out of their mouths. Their eyes are not glowing, but unnaturally red, and they just snarl at you. And I snarl back and do it better. <laughs> you can practice. Uh, and they roll a oof, fifteen, nineteen. They roll a they roll a twenty-two. All right. So, right. Uh, I defended some somehow. Okay. What did you roll? Or what? what uh, roll to defend. Uh, character sheet. To 
strength uh rolling uh yeah uh there's a goal right there uh any uh i mean uh how would you want to defend weaponry survival uh brawl uh, strength brawling try and catch okay. it. redirect the punch if i can't uh, I, would, I would say uh it depends on how you want to do you want to like um so this is the like well this is how i use the the white wolf system is it a matter of like you just catch his face and hold it there because that would be strength if you just want to like take it it's stamina uh, i'll catch his if fist. you want to outmaneuver him it's de dexterity i'll catch his fist and hold it there and use brawl and strength and drop a point in merit's plugin so i've got ah. combat plugins going and for me take an additional plus one on top of that all right Ooh, that explodes sweet 19 on the dice plus five is 24 plus four is 29 plus two is 31. yeah he kind of um so he got a 21 which is pretty good but then you just sort of like maybe i don't know how much Junus had to drink but maybe drunken master it just kind of like flunk. And like everyone in the bar kind of goes silent, including the frenzy freakout guy, which is weird because someone's in when a werewolf's in anger frenzy, you don't. So, but it, it's just sort of this shocked moment. As a free so, I'd like to talk to him. Uh, I'll, I'll allow it. With that rule, yes, I will allow it because you don't do any damage to them when you're defending. But I'll, oh, <laughs> that was ridiculous. So, yeah, okay. This is my bar. I've defended it before, and I'll defend it again if I have to. You can either stand down or take your licks. Okay. So, what did I write here? All right. Um, that and that. Okay, um, so you get a sense in that moment that this guy, like, he, you see, like, a glimmer of, like, intelligence in their eyes, as you can see they're trying to fight it, but they fail again. So you made it through, but it didn't stick, so, um, so bad guy. Who goes next? Uh, oh, it's so, so. All right, uh, Petruchio, you go next because uh, we'll say I rolled it randomly, but Petruchio. Uh, so the way vampires work in the system is all kindred have an inner beast uh, that is kind of a constant uphill battle. And once Klaus said, oh, vampire, basically, when one goes into frenzy, it's because their beast has suddenly gotten the upper hand because of some negative stimulus. Um, and effectively, when you run into another vampire, the parts of you that recognize each other is the beast. So vampires are very big on, you know, being... So part of the reason vampires end up being controlling assholes in society is because self-control is extraordinarily important. Because if not, if you're not very controlled, shit like that happens. So, but almost as reflexively, you're not going into frenzy, but your beast kind of gives you the impetus to go next because it's like, ah, oh, Lake recognizes Lake. Do something. Uh, you can decide to hold your, you can decide whether or not to do something because you're still in control here. But, you know, your inner beast is like, yeah, yeah, fight, fight. Which, but you're a bond true. So whether mm -hmm. it's, yeah. Being a vampire is weird, guys. Uh, so yeah, so you get you get next action. Okay, well, I'm not going to indulge this beast mostly because I have no fighting skills and likely get my nose broken on a bar stool. 
but <laughs> I might be able to maybe like get some people out of harm's way if like dude can't control him will want like the bar to be clear at least like assist the dude who got attacked okay um uh yeah so uh the guy who got attacked um he's basically lying on the brown on the ground bleeding and kind of like looks a little delirious already um so the other kindred didn't rip his arm off he kind of tore his arm open which is also making your beast a little agitated because oh blood smells tasty and yeah being a vampire is hard sometimes uh but yeah so do you want to like clear civilians or like how, probably, how would you like to do this i'll probably focus on the guys splitting out i don't have a very high medical skill as in oh i'm totally unskilled okay um, um you do have i would allow you to look to use survival okay I take that. Our medicine's in that guy. Yeah. If it's if it's just a matter of tie something around the arm to make it stop bleeding, like that, I will allow that survival. Like, and we're in in rounds around just three seconds, so there will be more time to get them proper treatment later. All right. Yeah. So I'll just rush over, take off. I don't know. Patricia wears a scarf or something that he like takes off and like grabs it around, trying to get style. It's a cravat. <laughs> it's a vampire. Hey, okay, that is a 10. Oh, let's see. Let's see. That's a 15 plus three, uh, 17. Okay, that is. Oh, wait. It's what? Survival? It's survival. Just survival, okay. Uh, you also get a plus one to this. Cool. Maybe Pricely should ask why we're getting so many plus ones against this fellow. Because <laughs> I'm nice. I feel like I should be suspicious about it. I am just glad they're not tentacles. Oh my god. It is not Tentacle Tuesday. So, <laughs> not that. Oh my god. <laughs> One day, I will have an excuse, a, a good excuse to Cthulhu chant, and I will do it. But but now is not the time. Uh, to check check <laughs> in the mage book under Abyss. <laughs> <laughs> Got it. <laughs> anyway, so Petruchio, how, how did you, how well did you roll? Because <laughs> it sounded like you did pretty good. I got a 17. Okay, so that is... Three, four successes. All right. Um, yeah. So that is that is almost an exceptional success. So you successfully stop this person from bleeding out. Um, you are a bit closer in harm's way, but dude is paying attention to Dune, so you're probably okay. But you have stopped this young man from from bleeding out um, uh, with survival. That many. I I will say you have an inkling based on like. Yeah, it's survival, and you're a vampire. You're not sure that the glazed expression on this kid's face is from blood loss. It might be from some chemical stimulus. And what happens uh, when kindred feed off of individuals under the influence, that is effectively how vampires get under the influence. Mm -hmm. Create people who are on drugs, and now I'm a wizard. <laughs> <laughs> Still thinking about what we do in the shadows. We drink the drug blood. I still yeah. have to watch the rest of that. I haven't oh seen the God. rest of the second it's, season yet. I haven't even five. seen the. We have not. Oh, we need to watch what we do in the shadows. Is Staten Island the capital of this land? No, it's where they dropped us off. <laughs> Season I need to watch season two. Anyway, so Petruchio. I love that. Awesome. You, you have good Samaritans the fuck out of this and saved someone from bleeding to death and noticed, oh, vampire stuff. So who goes next? 
I uh, there's only one person left. Oh yeah. Okay. I guess that's me. Um, I guess I'm gonna look at the scene. Um, I'm going to basically I think cheer on Merc and be like on your left or wherever the guy is. Can I do that? Um. Can I help? So basically, you want to you want to boost uh, your coworker. Yes. Okay. Um, let's say that is a. I would say that would be presence. Presence. And that would be presence expression. So okay. not, not your best or who's. Who's she, Amelia? Chrysler. Okay, so that's a two, and then where is expression? Um, expression is a one. Oh, okay, so it's um, a three. I will Total, allow right? you to use any merit. You can use merits to boost this because, you know, you're a changeling. And this is kind of sort of a first Fast talking. So I'll allow I'll that. Fast talking. So you can add a plus one for that and an additional plus one. Because okay. I think so that's five, correct? Plus five? Yes. Oh! It's a one! <laughs> okay, so, uh, Dune, unfortunately, you are at a... Let's say you have a negative three penalty. Now we'll say you have a negative two penalty to next roll because Pricely started trying to, to boost you, what? but now just distracting you. I'm sorry. What you say? What you say, you duff get? On your left. <laughs> so uh, so who who goes who goes next, Pricely? Because we are at the top of the next round. Uh, I will say the next round. Uh, Bad guy. Uh, the bartender is also available to get involved, but you were just closer to the fight and they were getting their uh, weapon. Oh, I should um, bring up their character sheet then. Okay. I guess, should I? Oh, I, I shouldn't so, have the bad guy go first, should I? Well, if they go first, then they can't go last. You know what? I'm going to have the bad guy go first because I, I accidentally distracted my pal. So there was an opening. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, dude. I tried. What'd you say? What'd you say? <laughs> so, dude, I'll say, I'll say this. This defense roll is the one you have the uh, the negative two penalty. Makes sense. Sorry. Okay, this guy rolled an eleven to try and bite Dune. All right. Basically on the shoulder. I'm going to oh. try and oh. check him again with strength and brawling. Mm -hmm. I'm Six. sorry. Plus, uh, give me a second to bring it up. Five and four, nine. So it's 15 minus two is 13. Okay, um, you still managed, so he, they they rolled 11, so you managed to... Um, Block him across the throat. Yeah, basically. He's going for your shoulder, you just go like, you've got this hand up, and then you go like this, and it's like, yeah, okay. So, no no chance, no opening this time, but uh, but you, you were successfully not bitten for ag damage. Vampire might feel awesome, but damn, they fuck you up. Oh, wouldn't have been my first time being bit if it was. That's how I knew to block him across the neck. <laughs> okay, I randomized it, so uh, Pricely, you go next. Oh, sorry, um... I rolled for it, so. Okay. Um. I mean. Also, I mean, I distracting the guy he's trying to eat. So. Yeah. Do it again. <laughs> I'm gonna do it again. Yeah. It says the bad guy. Like it's fine. <laughs> I don't know. I guess I'm gonna try and help. I yeah. I'm gonna help by. Yep. Okay. Here. So that's another. 
Yeah, do the same roll. Yeah, same roll. Okay. One. Plus one. Oh, God damn it. Really? Did you roll another one? See, this is why I don't like dice bots. Random numbers are not a thing that computers do well. No. It's all nines and ones that I've been getting. So maybe the next one will be a nine. I don't know. You roll the one again. All right. So, uh, Dune, you have a negative two to your next roll. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm trying. You know, th this is tabletop. This is tabletop. <laughs> Uh, bring it up. All right, Presley, who goes next? Um, I, I'm going to have the bartender hop in. All right, so. I would ask that I go before the bartender. Oh, you know, oh, wait, Dune. You know what? Yeah, I'll have Dune. All right. Do I have a plan? Yeah, Sorry. No. Sorry. I want to try before the bartender gets here. So <laughs> I'd like to try to put the guy in a full Nelson. When the bartender shoots, he's got a still target. I'm going for strength brawling if I hold him. Okay. With tapping um, in a combat plug in. All right. So roll those stats and an additional plus one. Okay. That's uh... Zell. That is the barkeep's name. Oh, that explodes. Yay. So it's 18 on the dice. Uh, plus 11 in bonuses comes to a 29. And frenzy person rolled a 10. So what did you roll again? 29. 29. So that is nine, difference of 19. Um, Jesus Christ. <laughs> um, all right. So, so what was the move again? Putting the guy in a full Nelson so the bartender can shoot him nicely. Okay, I will say that you didn't... So, I will say you do at least... Getting him in a grip you can't get out of. So, while you're full Nelson... Nelson so, while you have him in a hold, uh, you accidentally do four more bashing to them. Um, and the bartender will get a plus four bonus to their role to do whatever they're going to do because this guy <sighs> held. Uh, Dune, who goes next? The bartender. Okay. I, what was his name again? Zell. Uh, her name is Zell. Oh. Zell, I've got him. And she just uh, basically picks up some kind of spacey looking laser gun from behind her bar stands on top of the bar and is just like wait let me how does it look on camera just like not in my house and just <laughs> uh, so always warms my heart to see Zell in action <laughs> she is badass nova court scary uh Let's see, that would be um, um, let's see her her far her role for firearms is firearms is a five. Oh good. Yes, I cracked this NPC very much. Eight uh, nine ten. Okay, so her dice put her her dots are twelve. Or no, her dots are a thirteen, and now she rolls plus four for me. Oh, plus four, so that's seventeen. So all she has to do is not roll a one, and <laughs> it's gonna happen. Seventeen plus five, so she rolls a twenty-two. And he rolls a 15. Uh, so. Difference of seven for shooting. That is, uh, let's say, two lethal. 
uh, as as what basically looks like some form of electricity arcing out of the gut. So rather than a, an all out laser, it looks more like a long distance taser. But you know, super fun. Does it only hit the guy or do I have it as well? All right. Uh, it's uh, she's she somehow manages to miss you, or else this is some kind of special bonus weapon against vampires, or you know, changeling magic. Nova Court or Nova slash Summer Court are scary guys. Don't don't br don't break out into fights in Summer Court bars. Unless you want to get magically tased. So, uh, uh, she will actually have the Turkio go next. Uh, because A, known vampire, B, helping people. So, the uh, Turkio, does, you go next. How does the foe look at this point? The one I've got. Uh, let's see. Eight health boxes. Uh, He's not out, but he looks super rough. Like a lot, he's gotten a lot of bashing damage, so uh, and a few burns from the electricity. Uh, but uh, so uh, bashing damage, I don't think vampires can like sneeze and it goes away the way werewolves do. So, so yeah, he's still got some fight in him, but oh, he did some damage. Uh, Petruchio, what would you like to do? Uh, does mesmerize work on vampires? Do they have some sort of resistance to that? Um, the well, I mean, everyone has a resistance to it, but mm -hmm. yes, this is this is one of uh, a favorite thing to use mind control powers for is get sh get people out of frenzy. So uh, very handy. So I could. Uh... So, like, now that I've made sure this guy's okay, I'll just shoo him away and, like, I don't know. So you could just roll the roll the sick person out of the way and... Yeah. yeah. Stare into this dude's... Oh, yeah. Send the sick person Probably. toward me. Let's, sure. Oh, that's right. He's, he meant he's grappled. Yeah, he's grappled, so... Yeah, his... He's definitely... And his head is stuck, so you, you've definitely... Um, he's just, gotten... Negative oh, well, one him to Petruchio as well, or so yeah, you get a so roll for your discipline, roll for your magic power, and plus one extra. Cool. Uh, let's see, this says intelligence plus expression plus dominate. Uh, yes, I think I added those all up for you. Okay, so it's just a straight, like I, I, I think I illustrated how I came to that number, but. The number should just be there. Yeah, I can look at the character sheets on the same screen now. Mesmerize. Anyway. Uh, yeah, so your cool is a seven. Okay. So that would be an 11. Okay. Success in one raise. So yeah, this guy rolled, uh, let's say he rolled a six. So, is uh, you successfully kind of mesmerize him, and he is a uh, all right. How does this power work? Let me double check. Second ed is a little bit different than first ed, and I insisted on using second ed because I'm dumb. Yeah. Okay. Um. You can, so the way it works is you like look into my eyes and then they have to look into your eyes uh, because you won and then you get to give them a short command. Uh, a verbal command. And they have to do what you say. Would something like uh, resist the beast or something like would that? Yeah, that would be fine. Calm it's, down? it's not a one word, it's like a, a, a Short sentence command. So resist mm -hmm. the beast would yes. And his beast does not win. So yeah, you have 
you have effectively talked to this, you have mesmerized this guy out of frenzy. <laughs> and all right, uh, Klaus, uh, do you want to take your, your action? Because after that, we are then, I guess, done with combat because this guy is kind of. Uh, uh. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I mean, I just want to check out this guy that got part of his arm ripped open and see if I can help fix that and what kind of drug was he on that made this vampire go completely batshit. Uh, okay. Um, I'll say uh, Petruchio got a really good role for that, I remember. Although my brain does not hold on to numbers because it just doesn't. So uh, I will say roll for all that uh, roll wits medicine. Okay. Uh, with an additional plus the weird additional plus one. Well, I rolled a two, but it wasn't a one, and I have a plus ten on wits medicine. So there you go. Okay. That'll be two successes. All right. Um, so you make a few, a couple adjustments to the, the, the tourniquet. Um, yeah, definitely looks like this guy was bitten by a vampire. Um, vampire bites, like other supernatural stuff, causes aggravated damage rather than lethal uh, because white wolf system. Uh, even though it's just being punctured with a pointy thing, it is a magic pointy thing. So it is effectively like being poked with a, a pointy thing that's on fire. So you okay. definitely recognize, yeah, this is that damage. That's a vampire. Uh, at the same time, uh, yeah, you, uh, your interior, your inner computer is kind of running through its data bank. Um, it's telling you psychotropic substance, but it can't tell you which one. It may be one that is either super new or you're just not familiar with it yet. Okay. Super new That's or super obscure. Rare occurrence. But uh, psychotropic could explain why vampires suddenly went into rage frenzy. Yeah. Because, yikes. Is this guy, like, coherent enough to ask what he was on? Um, uh, let's see, the guy, oh, the human. No, nope. yeah. they okay. are very out of it. Um, so I think it was Petruchio might have noticed that, hey, that's not just blood loss, but now the blood loss is definitely hitting them, you know, 10, it's been two rounds, so maybe like 10 seconds later, it's like, oh dear. Got it. So you can definitely stabilize them better. Um, and, you know, you hear the sirens of emergency services. Okay. Uh, but yes, and uh, I'll have to content myself with just knowing that it's psychotropics then. I mean, if you want to try and reach your hands out his mouth, you could probably get a sample. <laughs> I don't think it's worth it. Just saying. Okay. So, uh, yeah. Uh, all things considered, uh, not a whole lot of damage. There's a broken table that was flipped, a broken chair that Dune broke on the other guy. <laughs> um, one human is bloodied, but is has been stabilized. Um, that will probably forgive me for the chair, hopefully. Yeah, so, uh, and the bartender, the big scary bartender is standing on her own counter with her gun drawn. So everyone else, anyone not involved in this fight is either like clearing to the edges of the room or has slipped off into the more clubby industrial area because they don't want to deal. Um, uh, and then, you know, emergency services and paramedics arrive a couple minutes later. Uh, there are, there is a, basically what you see is the lead, uh, officer is an investigator and not carrying a firearm, but they are backed up by someone with a firearm. Probably wise. Uh, and the pair, and they are escorting two paramedics with a, a stretcher. Uh, one of whom, uh, seems very openly to be some kind of synthetic human. Hmm. 
Probably, uh, yep. Uh, Klaus, you just recognize someone as an LAU model because reason. Hmm. So that makes sense. I see. Don't worry about this one, officer. I have him contained, but you might wish to give the structure to the other one. I don't think that the oozing wound is doing him any favors. Oh, they're already doing that. Fair enough. Uh, so the. Uh, so the, the, in, the investigator or the detective type person, uh, you know, approaches you uh, very calmly. Is like, so we realize he's more approaching the vampire calmly. Um, and he looks at Petruchio, looks at Dune, looks at the frenzied vampire. So uh, can y'all ex can you all explain to me what just happened here? He looks over at the bartender. He's like, so I told there was a disturbance. Looks pretty obvious that there was. So what, I, what And he's got his, his little tape recorder out. So. Well. I believe you need this person's statement if they're still conscious. Well, okay. Yes, we're... We'll do that if you guys can try and get unconscious. Paramedics, all right. Uh, no, but like, can you describe to me very quickly what happened here? So I, well, well, this guy obviously looks like that guy attacked that guy. That is a fair and just assessment of what happened. And then uh, this guy broke the table by flipping it, took that top clean off. So I, since I used to work here, I rather appreciate my club not being broken up especially by hooligans so i decided to step in as it were and restrain him all right um do you think this individual needs continued restraints or well i haven't dropped him they... yet because i don't know what kind of mind he'd wake up in he was not exactly uh aware of himself when he went down I'm just gonna shout over to them like he's probably got some psychotropics going on over there. Okay, the uh, the uh, synth med tech looks up and it, like kind of nods and basically swabs some blood and just sort of analyze scans it like in front of their face. And that's gonna take up this. So this guy. So uh, at this point, so yeah. So the, the vampire you were showing is like, I'm, uh, I think I'm okay now. Oh shit. I, uh, um, yes, you are in a very, some very deep shit, but not with me. You have to take that up with Zell and I am not going to get between her and well, her. Uh, right. Zell and the cops and other people. Petruchio, you know exactly what they mean by other people. Because this kind of people behavior is frowned upon. I fear Zell the most, because I am not a stupid man. Yeah, um... Zell's over there like, damn right. Sure, Zell is the scariest person. Yeah, okay. Um, no offense, Zell. And Zell's just, like, kind of glowers and gets down off the bar and puts the gun away. And, ma'am, is that Reg? You know, I don't need to know right now. Okay. Uh, uh, blow her a kiss. And the, the, the investigator very calmly says, uh, Sir, I'm afraid we're going to have to take you down to the station for questioning. And since, given the violent nature of the situation, we will have to restrain you. And this, this vampire kind of like, all right, all right, fine. I don't, I don't know what happened. He's like, can, is there anything you can tell us now, sir? And he's like, uh, well, I want to see my lawyer, but um, oh, I didn't take anything. I think um, Tom must have taken something. Uh, so yeah, I know that. I know that guy. I know his family. Um, I can give you their contact info. Um, yeah, just just take me in. This I I don't know what happened. Like nothing nothing happened. I just I wasn't hungry. 
is I don't know. Like he seems really confused. And Petruchio, yeah, it looks like he maybe fed off someone he didn't realize was high. Yeah. So, like, yeah, just any what people should he be feeding off of people in bars? Is that something vampires just do casually? Um. Well, yeah. Well, you have to because. Otherwise, you go into hunger frenzy and you start murdering people like what just happened. Um, so, so severe hunger. So, yeah, yeah, vampires still need blood to continue living or living. Um, but, yeah, like um, here at this. Oh, that's that's when we are previous player. So uh, Petruchio has actually come to this to this to saga on many occasions and fl and fed consensually off of various people who either work here or hang out here. Uh, a vampire bite is a, uh, does aggravate a damage. So, but it's also extremely pleasurable from most kindred. So it's a weird kind of high thing. But if uh, I believe you have heard on your character sheet that indicates uh, a circle of people you have that you can feed off of on a regular basis you know, carefully and slowly and not go crazy. And so they continue to live and you continue to eat and it's a nice symbiotic relationship. Hmm. But, um, but yeah, so that, I mean, this is Eden where a lot of, you know, a lot of vampires have their personal masquerade and don't want to be outed, but there are a lot of out kindred who are just like, yeah, you know, and there are fang bangers for lack of a better term. And on this, in this setting, there are humans who get off on being vampire uh, snacks. Getting the buff. <laughs> so, you know, it just, just happens sometimes. But yes, yeah, uh, so yeah, a, a, a kindred feeding off a human in a bar is not that weird, especially at Saga, where it's kind of very openly a pro-supernatural hangout. And it sounds like he knew the guys. This is probably a member of his herd. I'll make a roll for that. That's like Vampire 101. So it's like... And he also see, you know, this, uh, this kindred seems super upset that he, you know, almost killed his buddy. So... He's, he's going along, he's letting them handcuff him in, you know, spacey, futuristic handcuffs. And it's just not... Hold the, uh, really chicken wing against me. Say, say that again? Hopefully we'll not hold the double chicken wing against me. The full Nelson. Nope, he's... He, once once Petruchio uh, whammied him, he just sort of went limp, but he didn't struggle. He's like, no, I don't know. No, just keep me bound. I'm fine. I'm okay with it. So yeah, um, it's it's due process plus because supernatural stuff is weird. But Eden, I mean, the mayor of Eden City is now vampire. So you know, oh, actual dragons break soon. Oh yes, all right. So uh, this seems like so. Uh, right before we break, I will say that. Um, the med tech is doing their scanny thing. And, you know, there's kind of a moment of ding. And they're like, oh, shit. It's, it's another spike case. All right. It's and the other, the other med tech's like, oh, crap. All right. The spike. It's an, uh, and the med tech just doesn't understand why they not feel so comfortable talking to you. But they're like, yeah, it's, it's a new thing on the market. It's we've it's just sort of showing up in the last like couple months, but it's um, psychotropic, um, possibly magical. I mean, it it glows, uh, you know. It glows. It yeah. So kind of obviously magic. Hmm. So, yeah. I'm making a mental note of that. <laughs> but yeah, so some. Uh, on a good day, it's it's a stimulant that kind of makes everything pleasant in a stimulating way, but a bad trip means shit like this happens. See. That well, is rather unfortunate that something like that's just 
going around unchecked. Well, I mean, it's not unchecked. I mean, we're we're taking we're we're tra we're doing contact trace or we're we're tracking it, but it's just super super new. So emergency services are both tracking the incidents and uh, investigators are starting to look into it, but it's just, it's really new. We don't even know, like we didn't, I didn't have any cases in my database yet of, of vampires taking it. And now, well, we know what happens, so. We sure do. I'm gonna like look over at the damage of the table and the broken chair and yeah. So, yeah, I mean, if, uh, and he kind of holds up his cell phone and there's like a, a, a barcode on it. He's like, um, scan this into your phone. If, if you all see any other incidences of this, of this substance, like, uh, it's, it's a anonymous hotline kind of thing. And we're just looking for more information. Cool. I will scan the thing. Yeah, and, and it's yeah. really good health services in the in this system. When they say anonymous, they mean it. It's awesome. Uh, and at the same time, the investigator has uh, the armed person has put their firearm away and has taken the vampire uh, to their car. And the investigator is having a he some kind of heated ang discussion with Zell at the bar, who is very angry that this happened. And you get very much get a sense of sure quietly saying, I want something done about this. And they're like, yeah, due process, we have to investigate. We can't just go, is that maybe you can't? And just investigator just kind of steps back and is like, oh, ma'am, please call us if there are any further incidents. And it's just like not messing with the big scary bartender. So, uh, all right, break. Yes. So, all right, 10 minute break. Uh, we will, or five minute or 10 minute? I'd rather 10 minutes. And okay. I need to make tea. Okay. All right. So, hi, chat. So, while our players are off uh, taking a quick bio break, uh, I have not been reading Twitch chat because uh, we are on StreamYard, so I can only look at the public comments or the private chat. And I need to keep the private chat open in case weird shit happens uh, to my players that they don't maybe want to mention on stream. So hello, I will now look back on comments and see who's around. <laughs> Walt Merck was right, yep. You know, I've never trust a smiling GM. You shall know this by now. And when it comes to changeling acid trips, like, I don't know that I'm better. I'm a little out of practice, but I was once amazing at it. Uh, well, hi, Milk Maven. Hope you're still watching, but thanks for, for stopping by. <laughs> Aw, yay. You could tell I was going for a horror movie vibe because this is a horror game. Um, Mabinogian. Yep, yeah, I've read that too, Dracus. Yeah, so uh, hello, chat. Uh, not a lot going on on chat, so uh, you know, thanks for watching. I'm basically here holding the, the uh, stream open because uh, I am not good enough at Twitch or StreamYards yet to have a like back in 10 minutes hold screen. So, uh, doesn't seem like anyone's super active in the chat today, which is fine. We have been away for the last couple weeks uh, because uh, obviously two weeks ago, uh, we were in solidarity with the media blackout because hashtag, yes, Black Lives Matter, deal with it. Um, and then last weekend, I think we all could have used some fun in games, but uh, I'm not comfortable making my face the whole. Hmm. Ah, yeah, let's do it like this. Yeah, so we'll wait for our friends to come back. 
Um, yeah, we would have liked to, to come back last week, but a lot of us were sick. And it was, you know, I knew that stuff like that would happen in the middle of a pandemic. So, you know, people are out sick and uh, we couldn't get, uh, we couldn't find enough uh, backup players to try an alternate stream. So uh, in the future, if a bunch of people are sick or weird stuff happens, we might just uh, do something other than this. Uh, I, uh, myself, uh, Merc, and actual Dracus all met in a roundtable GM group. So we have all effectively run game for each other thus far. So, uh, and uh, we're all very experienced with a lot of uh, what is called Faith Core, which is a fate hack that is used in the Demon Hunters RPG, which is uh, published by Zombie Orpheus Entertainment. Because uh, that's the GM roundtable we're all in. Uh, and uh, I don't know about Dracus and Merc, but I am, oh, I need to send them an email. Uh, because I have been working on a a tabletop RPG module for Zombie Orpheus Entertainment to run with them at Gen Con. Uh, Gen Con is now moving online, and I'm already well versed in streaming, or not streaming, but in RPGs via webcam. Uh, which is part of why we're doing this. It's like, well, why not stream it? We already know how webcams work. So, uh, yeah, chat, if anyone has any questions, I guess feel free. If you want to continue lurking, that is also fine. Uh, I will continue blabbing. I can blab for 10 minutes straight, but hopefully some of my, my buddies will come back soon. Uh, but yeah, I hope everyone is doing okay and surviving, if not thriving, in the current climates. Um, and myself, summer is taking a toll on me because I seem to just generally be allergic to summer. And in New York City, where I live, summer is rather brutal, even if you don't have to go outside, or even if you can find an excuse to stay indoors and work from home. It's rough. So, yeah. Hmm. If anyone has any any setting related questions, uh, you know, feel free to ask. And you know, let's just tell me what you need, chat. Can't guarantee I'll, I can give it to you because because you know, spoilers. But uh, yeah, oh, it's quiet. But I shouldn't be that surprised that things are so quiet that, uh, you know, it's been two weeks. Our VODs have expired. We are still very tiny. So our VODs expire after two weeks. And I'm not sure about, I have not yet set up a YouTube. Uh, I've heard another uh, tabletop streamer refer to their YouTube as a graveyard. And I can't say I disagree. So hello, Dracus, you're back. Hi, I am back. I had a sh gaming stream for a while once, and um, we actually, like, the one person who just stumbled on us um, did find us through YouTube, which is kind of weird. Oh, okay. Well, so, we'll, we'll do something. Yeah. At least, um, oh, can you tell if the... If, if we've successfully taken off the podcast tag? I don't think we have. I think it is oh, still there. No. And I don't know why. Dracus carefully walked me through the process and I still screwed it up. Or I've heard like a lot of people complain that Twitch did some weird stuff. Like last week there was a lot of people like, I can't see the people I follow in that sidebar streaming. I don't know if that's still a problem. Twitch seems to have changed some stuff lately and it's yeah. a little little weird a little weird a little bit annoying anyway right. i'm going into like granny mode and i'm working on a crochet project 
And Wait. Dino Friend needs a tail. Oh, Dino <laughs> He doesn't have a tail. Aww. So floofy. Yay, Dino Friend. It's Dino Friend. Hi. My emotional support shoggoth is somewhere. Good. But it's not Tentacle Tuesday, so... Mm. But yeah, if if you like tentacles, read, read up in the abyss. Got it. Uh, you, I lent you the mage book. It's fine. Yeah, <laughs> it's you know, it's fine. Everything's fine here now. How are you? Okay, I actually do need for the for once. I need a bio break. So okay, if you can hold up the fort for a couple secs, I will be right back. Because luckily, Got my it. apartment is ten feet wide. <laughs> so. I'll be right back, everyone, uh, all three of you. But thank you for watching, because I was worried after two weeks of being offline, uh, we would have no watchers. So thank you for coming. I am not really sure what to talk about to keep it going, but you know, this is fine. Um, Got my tea in my Squatch mug, as usual. Got this thing at Pike's Peak and I have no regrets. Getting it home was kind of fun though, because airplanes, but yeah, I seem to find that I have a total lack of anything interesting to say right now because of the quarantine stuff going on. Um, Every day is just another day happening. I have a note that says that Dune has a story about trying to drown his cousin, and I'm, I'm just waiting for uh, some time to bring that back up. And I should probably remind Merc that she said that at some point before I do that, because otherwise I'm just going to get met with totally blank stares. But yeah, one day, one day I'll get some payoff on that. I don't even remember this happening because it was like a whole last month ago. Yeah. I think I'm talking to one person right now, because I'm pretty sure the other two viewers are me and Merck, but this is fine. I just can't remember how to crochet sometimes, and it's very frustrating. I think I got it. Chris is back. <laughs> Hi, welcome back. Hello. Yes. I do not know how to fill time. I have <laughs> nothing interesting to say these days. Um, yeah, between Spoonie life and now being completely is physically isolated from the rest of the world i am a little low on on stuff as well yeah uh and it doesn't look like uh there we have i mean chat feel free to lurk because do twitch how you want but you know you have questions while we're on break it is also they don't even have to be about the game let's be honest here we just want something to say yeah <laughs> I mean, I can babble for 10 minutes straight, but I don't know that it's great content, to be honest. I'm even out yeah, of practice same. with that. But, yeah. I could babble about, uh, I just got a job doing DoorDash and um, it's a wild time. Oh dear. Nothing strange has happened yet in regards to like people. But um, 
I had a dream last night where I was going through an intersection in town like over and over again and I couldn't find where I was trying to go and it was very upsetting. <laughs> and it's a weird road. It's like a really weird road. It cuts a whole diagonal through the greater Dayton area. So you could be in downtown and it'll be facing west and then when you get to my part of town it runs north south but then it starts doing a like diagonal thing again and i hate it mm. popped out there earlier today i was like how did i get on wilmington where, where did I come from that I ended up on this road? Bold of you to assume you were ever off Wilmington. I don't think I was ever off Wilmington. Uh, your town gothic. You never... Wilmington is all the roads. <laughs> Wilmington is all the roads. <laughs> you cannot escape Wilmington. No. Wherever you are, you will end up in Wilmington. Not it even doesn't matter what's true. It's inescapable. <sighs> Every road my whole life right now. <laughs> <laughs> Just Wilmington Pike. <laughs> That's it. That's your life now, Wilmington. Mm -hmm. Once you enter, you can never leave. <laughs> it sure does feel like that. Oh my gosh. Hey, Amy. Peter. Can you turn on the AC again? What? Can you turn the AC back on? Oh. Thank you. I love you. You're the best. <laughs> I didn't even realize it was off. You gotta turn the action. Nope. Okay, so. Uh, are we re ready to reconvene game stuff? Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. Up. Nice. Okay, so uh, when I decided to open the game with a combat, uh, I knew this might take longer than other plots I've written for this game. So we will, I'm going to, hold on, I'm going to go get my phone so I can actually set an alarm. <laughs> okay. Oh, an alarm for 10. <laughs> there we go. What is missing from my table? What is my phone? All right. And uh, we can pick, so we'll run until 10 my time. So about another hour, and then we can pick up next week. Sounds good to me. Yay. Because I am not great at running three hour, writing three hour plots. That's why I need to play test them. Uh, but this is an ongoing stream now, so I don't really have to run the whole adventure tonight. Good plan. So, but we'll see what happens. Mm. Mm. Okay. Oh, you guys didn't see the crochet project I'm working on. This dino oh friend. God. That's dino amazing. Friend. <laughs> I'm trying to I love it. Tail. He's a little little lacking there. Oh, oh my gosh, but... that's so much better than this like basic ass crochet <laughs> pattern I got. I'm doing one of these. I'm doing <laughs> <laughs> something to keep my hands busy. Yeah, that's Thank that's you. it. <laughs> that is super cute. All right. Meanwhile, back in space. Uh, space. So the investigator uh, goes around to various other bystanders in the bar, and they all kind of, they're basically you know repeating the same thing. Like this, that guy freaked out through a table. The other guy went to subdue him. The other guy stared at him really hard and, and he stopped freaking out. 
Someone shot him with a laser gun. You know, bar fights in space or bar fights in Eden system. Um, while this is happening, uh, Zell is on her own phone, furiously texting about something to someone. Uh, and Dune, uh, you get, or rather first, uh, Petruchio, you get a ping from an unlisted number or a text message from an unlisted number uh, that is not in your phone. Uh, but it signs uh, Tilda, who is the prince of the city, or the prince of the system, rather. <laughs> uh, it is a very short message uh, that states, why did you bring a blood-maddened vampire into my city? This is not what I pay you for. Clean it up. Ah, uh, so this is one of, or at least she assumes this is one of our contracts. It, it was the vampire in our system. Like, I imagine we keep notes on those things. We can get check it. Um, yeah, you can, you can check through your records. Uh, that, that would be, uh, had your character sheet right there. Oh, there it is. Okay. Yeah, for you, that would be uh, intelligence and computers. That is a 14. Yeah. Um, you take your own notes and, and you kind of, once you start thinking, is that someone I've met? And it's like, oh, maybe. Not, not one of the emergency we have to go rescue them off a space station type clients but more of a straightforward hey i really need to take a trip right now would love to see your system so uh based on your more private notes uh this guy uh is a maquette which is a different clan of vampire than von true uh also a carthian uh which is a different uh, covenant of vampire than Invictus. Uh, the maquettes are very, like, some of them are very ninja. Others are more just like, I like doing my weird dark shit in the, in the corner by pretending to be normal right out in public. Uh, they are a little a little more prone to frenzy in some circumstances than other kindred. So, and being a Carthian, he like actually likes humans and not just because they're useful. So, although often they are still useful. So like the mayor of the city is a Carthian. So they're the kind of, if the Invictus are very much the uh, old ivory tower, we rule the world and they won't know it and that therefore we win. Uh, the Carthians are more like vampire communists, where they're like, no, people have rights too, and, and younger kids should have rights, and it should all be, everyone should vote, blah, blah, blah. and it's like, oh, uh, say the Invictus, oh, it's those guys. But, um, you know, you had done your, your own investigations on this person, especially being a kindred, and they didn't seem like they were running from anything kindred-related. Although a mech cat means that's a lot of cloak and dagger shit anyway, that doesn't always make it onto a computer log. But uh, this guy didn't seem offhand like trouble. Uh, but Tilda, Prince Tilda more or less told you that this is now your job to figure out what, what happened. I mean, you are a kindred, so the speed at which you do so can vary, but you know. Congratulations, you've been voluntold by the prince to fix this issue. Ah. Or at least pass it up. You know that there are manners in which you could like pass it up the food chain for someone else to deal with, but it's like, well, you were there when it happened and you brought the guy here, so your problem now. Hooray. Cool. <laughs> Hashtag Invictus problems. And I know in the, the space material, all these covenants and clans and courts and everything have different spacey names, but I can't remember all of them, so I'm just going with the basics. So, 
uh, yeah. Uh, and about F a few minutes as Petruchio is sort of doing their phone thing. Uh, Dune, you get a ping on your phone from the Mercenary Guild message board. And it looks like Zell has just put a level two bounty on a dealer named Valerie. Um, as they are suspected uh, to have caused this ruckus because they were the one dealing the drugs. And a level two bounty is just bring them in, right? Still alive. Um, level one is bring them in. Level two is the level at which it's okay if they're dead. But ah! we prefer them alive. Um, but prefer alive. And obviously, like, you know, you heard the investigation team saying we're investigating, and that generally takes alive people. But, you know, this, uh, Zal is, is not happy when people mess up her place. You know that from your long history here. Uh, mm -hmm. However, she is technically in the Merc Guild, but has is semi-retired. So the, the better you're standing in the Merc Guild, the more you can get away with. I paid for the chair. And your, your standing is a lot better than hers. And she is offering uh, noises. Who is noising the mic? Is it me? I don't know. Um, all right. So it lost my train of thought. Static derailed brain out. Um, standing in the Merc Guild. Merc's guild. Oh yeah. So um yeah, your standing's pretty good and there's no rule that says your chartered company has to be a mercenary company. At least I don't think there is. You could get around it. Um and usually a bounty like this require like a level two bounty requires uh agreement with local authorities. So the Merc Guild general the master general and somewhat uh, law enforcement has to be uh, informed. Uh, but you do know that Zell knows the, mass, the the general. So it's like, yeah, that's gonna happen fast. But uh, she is offering two universal favors. I'll put my name down for it. Which is, and universal favors are the really nice ones that are backed up by uh, by the conservators union itself uh, because personal favors are fine but if the person you got it from is dead as this is a very dangerous place to exist uh space is dangerous eden is less dangerous in some ways but not in others uh, th th there's always that concern that, well, Conservators Union, the favor system started by Conservators Union going into places that didn't have an economy set up or it had just crashed. Uh, so while personals are good, like if the person who owes you the favor is dead, then that's no long, no one's going to back that up anymore. Unless they transported it before death. Yeah. yeah. Um, but, and it is possible to, uh, to transfer favors that you have on other people to other people. So it's a lot like boons and vampire. Okay. Uh, but there is the universal favor, which is like the gold current, the gold standard currency of this is good and back to, and it's, you can use it on anyone and it's awesome. Yes. Uh, Petruchio at the moment has three because you are a member of the conservators union and you can just generate them because you're, <laughs> that's what they're for. That's what the conservators union does. Does but but you know they're they're nice to have and they're universally accepted unless you're in the core but you're not in the core so fuck it yeah uh, I don't yeah. get going go into the core so yeah not a good place for all of blood so while you're a tourist agency you do have you know maybe the motivation I to start I looking at Sorry, go ahead. So, uh, so yes, you've you've both gotten your uh, call to action, so to speak. Uh, what do you tell your other coworkers? So, Robne, uh, we're moving up in the world. We have some a mission from the highest authority in this part of the galaxy. 
Really? Uh, I didn't know about any of your missions. The prince. Uh, I see. The prince wants us to move someone? Well, it's more about somebody that we moved. Remember that like guy we met in the bar? Sort of like tore up a dude's arm pretty bad. Yeah. Right. He was our job and they want us to deal with that now. Well, I oh, may joy. Need... Ooh. Do tell. I have the name of the drug dealer suspected of dealing the drug that did it to him, despite the fact that he did not take a drug, but it, that his person did. Okay. Okay. Is and... it wrong? It is not Rob, it is... Valerie. Valerie. Okay. Do I know who Valerie is? Um, Guys, we did not. Let's see. Please continue to roleplay while I look at people's character sheets. What do we know about the drug? The drug is a spike, as it were, I believe. Uh, and yeah. we through the scene, which is not welcome, as it has, uh, its highs are not high enough to justify the fact that the lows drew things like drive vampires to frenzy and werewolves to. Uh, I learned some I fun things about this uh, spike. It's apparently brand new. And uh, get this it glows. <laughs> Your experiences were not uh, as stimulant on a good day, psychotropic on a bad day. Sound that cool. sounds like what happened. Yeah, yeah, it does. Doesn't I guess it? you would have spiked. Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, Klaus, roll uh, intelligence streetwise. Okay. Chrysley, I want you to roll. Uh, Intelli- uh, now let's say it's uh, wits. Okay. Uh, let's say wits investigation. Okay, so three and three. So, ooh, yay, plus six. That's a good one. Yeah. I got a ten, so one success. Five okay. plus six, so that's an eleven. For two successes. Okay. Um... Oh yeah, Presley. That is, Spike was the name of the drug that the that uh, Rob gave you. Shit, that was it. Yeah, that was it. Uh, Klaus, you were investigating if you know Valerie. Um, yeah. It sounds she sounds familiar. Um, you suspect you're you're more into the the local clubs and nightlife. She might be adjacent to that. You might both know some of the same people, but you don't think she travels in your same circles. Friends of friends, not yeah. a genuine acquaintance. Like, Rob, you... I'm gonna just say, you rolled high enough to just know Rob. Yeah. But, uh, Val, you don't know a Valerie. Unless she goes by other names, which is also possible. Yeah, but off the top of my head, I don't yeah. know who that is. She might be new or newly renamed or I mean the whole thing is sounds kind of new. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like Presley only tried it like two weeks ago. It must be like a super new drug on the market. So do you happen to know where to find this Valerie character or where she might be uh, running as it were? I am presuming she does not come to Saga, or at least she will not in the future, given that uh, Zell is not currently happy with her. By the way, She's definitely I, I, I paid Zell for the chair I broke, because I don't want Zell angry at me. I'm not a stupid man. Oh, that was nice. Yeah, she doesn't actually, like, hold that against you, but she's like, oh, thank you. That is very, very nice of you. Thank you. And she's she's actually like taking a break, so that's an email you get later because she's like, I need to go not be around people. A fair and uh, valid response. Like, yeah. honestly, uh, you can see the weird like 
crown of green thorns she has that no one can explain is actually like kind of twitching <laughs> and it's like okay that's scary i don't know what that means but that's scary yeah don't she, want to piss that person off because she's not a queen of one of the courts here so no one's really sure what that title means and no one's inclined to ask but it's like oh she gonna go be in her private room and not around people's yeah but it's available by email <laughs> and text just don't be around like you could just feel heat coming off of her because yeah. that's how her type of of fey uh work so yeah i've been enough in rooms enough with angry werewolves know when not to piss a person off oh yeah so klaus yeah you have to know where this valerie person tends to be or where we might find them or find information about them i don't know anything off the top of my head never heard the name well i've heard the name don't know who she is don't know where we might find her could be a friend of a friend but it would take some serious networking okay so i have i don't know where val is but that was the exact same drug that rob gave me and i have his card now that might be a lead we could ask rob then if you so choose yeah let's do it Okay. To be, to be fair, are we asking Rob about the drug or are we asking Rob about Valerie or both? Why not both? Probably yeah. both. Fair enough. Okay, is it best if, I mean, is it best if I call him or is it best if you call him, Klaus? Mm. You know him. I think it might be better if you call him. Me? Okay. I mean, he gave you his number. Yeah. We just run you know in what? some of the same circles. And uh, let's face it, you are way more charismatic than I am usually. So. This is true. That is fair. Okay. <laughs> okay. I'm going to. I'm going to call this guy. Okay. And don't take the glowing drugs next time. Got it? Okay, I got it. <laughs> okay, so um, uh, the good news is uh, Rob picks up. The bad news is, is like, hello? Hello, gosh, 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 gosh. Because there's like uns, 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 boots and cats and boots and cats. There, there is definitely fun okay. happening. Hey. Hello. Hey. Hi, Rob. Hello. Hi. I'm just going to text you. Okay. <laughs> Hello. And boots. Okay, I'm going to hang up and text him. Okay, what, what do you text him? Um, hey Rob, it's Fen from the other day. Uh, I was wondering if you wanted to meet up. Um, and, uh, you don't get a yes or no. You basically just, uh, get an address. Let me see. Okay. Um, it is, it is some heinous club that, that doesn't have a Norse sounding name and it's just called Crowbar, like C-R-O bar. Uh, but it, it is a newer kind of more hip, uh, okay. club in the market town district. So it is likely a large warehouse that was turned into a nightclub. Kind of like okay. what the meatpacking district used to be. Okay. R.I.P. New York. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah. Um, I am obviously going to show my comrades. Uh. <laughs> yep. It's like, yeah, just... Well, if we must, I, we must, I suppose, though. It, it, I gives, it gives uh, the address for Crowbar, and then it's a, and then he texts again, like, 
show them my card and you get a discount to come in. So, um, sounds fantastic. Or, the, or rather, right. they'll let you in. <laughs> so, sounds great. I'm away. All right. Uh, do you take any other party members with you? Yeah. <laughs> Yahoo. Um, I'm at least taking Dune. I mean, honestly, maybe I should just take the whole party. Let's not yeah. split it up. Let's have everybody I mean, along. Klaus can probably get into the club on their own merits. Mm hmm. So, yeah. Y'all can, uh, yep, roll up to the club. And it is, it is a very, uh, it's, it's still that kind of weird. So the whole city has this kind of, a like a futuristic bent on Art Nouveau. Mm -hmm. So, and there's like the older parts of the city are copied by the newer parts. This far out in Market Town is one of the, you know, this, this area is only centuries old rather than millennia. Mm -hmm. Uh, but even the warehouses have that kind of Art Nouveau, like, it's a very organic kind of style of architecture with, like, mm -hmm. smooth curving. It, it's almost like cyberpunk, like, Rivendell. Cyberpunk oh, yeah. urban Rivendell. So lots of interesting intricate reliefs. So uh, turning an, a warehouse like that into a nightclub is, like, extra cool looking because now all those reliefs are like lit up by funky lighting. And, you know, it's, it's a club where all the windows have been blacked out or covered over. Um, what in some would, cases with foliage. What windows that are in a, in a warehouse, given its original function. Yeah. So, <laughs> um, Dune, Dune does not look, it does not look like he's in place. He is still wearing the heavy wool cap and a long, uh, black coat and underneath is a, a sweater vest and a long and a, and a <laughs> collared shirt. Hello, I'm a Welshman. I would yes. like to party. <laughs> oh my god, that's amazing. It's not... You can't see the gun holsters underneath the coat, thank goodness, but other than that, it's uh, not exactly what you'd call party clothes. Klaus, but in contrast, is dressed to party. Oh yeah, um, as gotta blend crazy. in. There's definitely like <laughs> a, there's definitely a line of of party kids lined up trying to get in, um, and this season's trends seem to be definitely like range from black leather and pleather and uh, plastic, as you know, which never really black never goes out of fashion, um, mm -hmm. but also a whole lot of like neon pleather and plastic. And like hmm. fishnets that glow in the dark. Oh, they look like the and... 90s throw up on them, I see. Yeah, it looks kind of like 90s. <laughs> 90s put up into a blender and then splashed all over these kids. It's like skateboards was years. trying to be. <laughs> oh, yeah. You're definitely getting a what? 90s rave. A, a 90s, uh, tr when rave was trending, I should oh, say. Because yeah. I know yeah. actual ravers who raved back in the day and they looked rather different. No one here is wearing overalls or comfy clothing. Yeah. Yeah, no one no one's dressed in a comfy manner. Oh, oh no. <laughs> so clearly hopefully they're not doing E because oh it's gonna be uncomfortable when they start sweating in this gear. Mm -hmm. So uh yeah, so and there is, you know, the standard uh big bouncer guy. Uh, as far as any of you can tell, he might, he seems to be a vanilla human, but you know, a really big one. Hmm. So, and he is not currently letting anyone in off that line. So what do you do? Do I recognize um, it? Clearly. Do I recognize the bouncer? Uh, roll for it. I will roll. Let's see. What will I roll? I will roll uh, wits because I'm trying to remember a guy and um, streetwise, I think. Sure. That sounds good. Okay. And I get a bonus for being Eden system. Yep. Yep. And you get an additional plus one that is not suspicious at all. 
three is a I don't trust you. <laughs> How many successes? How many successes? Two successes. Eleven. Um, so you don't know this guy. Um, but he does kind of like bouncers have that unspoken bouncer vibe. So, so does he recognize me, as it were? Uh, he doesn't recognize. Well, it's it's more of a, a sense of game recognizes game, and so he like gets who you know he gets your profession, and he's like, "Yeah, man, sorry. Unless you got an invitation, I can't just let you in." Pricely. I have that. <laughs> All right, and he kind of. He kind of looks it over and he kind of looks at you and he's like, all right, but uh, don't fuck anything up in there. And he hands Pricely back the card. He's like, you know, that guy. And he kind of like begrudgingly kind of, you know, opens the velvet rope and like lets all four of you in, but he doesn't seem to like it and is a little concerned. And okay. ironically, we lost Klaus. <laughs> so Klaus immediately gets lost in the club. Uh, the Deliberately, one might say. Yep. <laughs> Klaus being Klaus it has club fuscate. <laughs> and it's just like... That tracks. They just cross their arms and they're... <laughs> we mean the background of the uh, club. Oh, there's Klaus. Oh, no. Just drop. Sorry. That happens. Okay. So, uh, yep. Uh, you are all grudgingly allowed into the club with the express uh, instruction of don't fuck anything up. And yeah, so you all get in. Klaus uh, melds into the crowd and then comes back out again, remembering, oh, wait, I'm working today. So, <laughs> I'm not that kind of work. Sort of. So, uh, yeah. Uh, I guess, uh, who wants to roll Wits Investigation? I'll do it. Okay. Either you Wits or not, because you are the only two. You are the only two who know how, what Rob looks like. I don't even know what he smells like, so I could not try and find him if I wanted. No! You've got to stop rolling. Like, just full stop. We're not letting you roll again tonight. <laughs> That's it. You're done. You're not you're doing anything else tonight. You're just gonna stand there and look pretty. I'm not doing anything. I'm just gonna. This is what, yo. This is why I never look at my sheet. I just like, goddamn. <laughs> Did you roll a one? What do you think I rolled? <laughs> you're rolling anything else tonight except for ones and nines, and and two fives. So Pricely has the genius idea of just walking into the, walking onto the dance floor asking people if they've seen Rob. I'm gonna go yep, pull Pricely up. back. And then someone uh, <laughs> out of nowhere, someone's thumb starts heading towards her forehead and and there's suddenly a, a sticker on her forehead, which I'm sure will have absolutely no effect on her whatsoever. Yay! Dude well, is literally uh, face foaming in the corner. Like, I don't know this person. They don't know me. Uh, Pricely, I would like you to roll uh, Resolve Composure. Actually, no. Um, we'll say Stamina Composure. Oh, god damn. Okay. Oh, that's not the right. Okay, stamina and composure. Composure is a three. I don't know where my stamina is. Um, it should be right next to it. I'm, I'm asking you to roll two actually. Oh, it is. Okay, so that's a five. Plus five. Okay. Okay. A ten! Five and a five! It's a ten! I have not Yay. missed that. Not okay. five tonight. You are immediately aware that, so you are aware that, oh, there was something on that sticker, uh, but uh, you will not be taking any penalties for it. You are just feeling a little happier and a little gigglier. Yay! Okay. You are having a good time and you're working, sort of, kind of. Yay! 
<laughs> and just continue asking people if they have seen Rob. Hoorah! That sounds like a fantastic idea. I am have a you very seen Rob? Have, have you seen Rob? I'm looking for Rob. Is Rob? that Rob? Uh, would anyone else like to roll? Sure. Yes. I'll, uh, I'll go with investigation. Can, yeah, let's go with investigation. Or uh, wits. Uh... My investigation is shit. It is non-existent, in fact. I will allow wits streetwise. Okay. Since you I'll are looking for a drug dealer. The bartender. Oh, you okay? You ask the bartender. Okay. Okay, I got a twelve. Fourteen. Okay, so um, Klaus, uh, you basically, you know, extend your streetwise senses and you know have the the sense to. Uh, Actually, I would say you, you bo both, Klaus and Dune, have this. You see Dune starting to head towards the bartender and realize, oh, yeah, they'd know who's here. Um, yeah. So between the two of you, the bartender is, you know, a, a very, like, thin uh, female presenting uh, person who. Uh, 14. Yeah, I'll, I'll say, like, uh, Dune, you notice some of her tattoos are tribal. So, but not a wolf blood. No, it she is probably, unless yeah. unless it's you know werewolf appropriation, which has happened from time to time, but like not not that much in Eden system. Because the werewolves are assholes. That's all that is. Yeah, true. yeah, that is that is a big part of it. It's very hard to, uh, as it were. I so, yeah. would then venerate an asshole like that. So, yeah. Skinny lady wearing like completely skin tight, just like a uh, crop top and like booty shorts and is just serving. And she's quite flexible and quite fast and, you know, mixing and serving a whole bunch of drinks from behind the bar. But, you know, you know, she nods at the two of you as you approach and yeah. Very well. I don't suppose you might know a person named Rob. Uh, and she's kind of like, you know, doing the all the stuff. She's like, uh, um, depends on what you're looking for him for. I, uh, one of my compatriots uh, took one some of his uh, potions and we would like to know uh, where to get more, essentially. Oh, okay. Um, well, what is it worth to you? I put, uh, what have I got on me? Um, you, you have up to five levels of resources uh, from the company. Yeah, but I have two levels of resources on my own. So I'll take out uh, some ancient looking coins and drop them in her tip jar. She's just like, okay. Um, yeah, he'll be up in the VIP section right now. So, I mean, you could get his attention, but if you want to get in there, you're going to need an invite. Ah. Thank you very much for the information, and I'll drop a couple more coins that are not any newer, but they're a lot shinier. Oh, okay, cool. She's like... It's like England's. Here, coins do have value. <laughs> yep. Or like Europe, I should say. So. <laughs> you have any shiny coins? Here are shiny coins. Yeah. So, and uh, Pricely is still uh, wandering around the, the dance floor. Where is Rob? I'll go uh, catch Pricely, I'll... so just like walk out. <laughs> 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 I am capable of dodging people putting random stickers on me on the dance floor. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, you're all 12. Yeah. <laughs> or you've just developed a tolerance to that level of nonsense. Yeah, probably that too. <laughs> Find well, one on me later and just pick it off. Like, <laughs> didn't even notice it was nope, there. Nope, nope, nope. Meanwhile, nobody tries that on Dune because nobody's stupid. Oh, they do try, but they miss <laughs> because they don't have Dune's uh, uh, physical traits. Uh, but yeah, and also <laughs> because Dune is wearing very covering clothing where no one else is. It's a pretty heavy jacket. Oh, yeah. You can stick at it all you like, but there's not getting through that. Where's Petruchio in this mess? Uh, I'm imagine, well, until they 
picked up that information. I was just lurking by the door to make sure nobody got the word and tried to sneak out. Um, okay. All right. So uh, that's fair. All right. So we're uh, going upstairs. I'll join you. Okay. So, we get yeah. Pricely. They have a giggly Pricely. All right. So there's, a, there's another bouncer. Uh, the VIP area isn't a private room. It's basically there's just... Um, like that kind of thing in a warehouse where there's like um, an office and then on top of the wall, the office is some railings where people can, well, presumably put stuff up there, more boxes. But now that it's a club, it's the VIP area. So it's, you've kind of like in, in a nice little cordoned off area that's above the club and looking out over it where people are drinking fancier drinks and better quality alcohol and bottle service and but at least here, the bottle service is to the side and not in the middle of the floor, which is awful. Because then no one can dance there. And like, why even go to a club? So, yeah. so yeah. club are maybe new and trendy, but at least it's it's got its shit together. Yeah. Uh, Klaus, uh, we would probably know that this club has been like half a dozen different clubs since you've been here. Crowbar is just the newest owners and iteration of trendy Got bullshit. It. Trust fund babies who think that opening a nightclub is the best idea ever. So. At least they got the floor plans this time. The last two didn't have any sense and put the drinks right at the front where you couldn't even get to them through the dancers. Yeah. Yeah, that was like, here the bar was off to the side. You're kind of the main bar is kind of on the opposite side from bottle service, which is a little no annoying for the servers, but, uh, you know, unless they have a back room, which you probably do. But yeah, so, uh, yeah, you make it, <laughs> I, will say, you make it up the, I will say with a one, Pricely barely makes it up the stairs, but you do. Because hey. you're still asking everyone where Rob is. <laughs> <laughs> Every Ooh. single person we pass. Do you know Rob? <laughs> Do you know Rob? <laughs> I'm going to find, find Rob. I feel her by the back of the neck, essentially, at this point. And it doesn't kind work. Of guiding her along. <laughs> and the, the bouncer is another uh, big vanilla human, and he's just kind of like, and he's like, uh, who, who wants to know where Rob is? Me! All right, you, you got an invitation? Here's his card, and I, I hand him the card, and I was like, I also have a text from him that says, they come through. Uh, he will examine the phone and the card, and he hands them both back to you, and is like, all right. We appreciate Behave. you. Behave behave so and he just lets lets y'all through yay i'll tip my hat to him appreciate you sir way to go fed fed for the win <laughs> uh the the bouncer nods to dune but does not have the same like bouncer recognition that the guy outside did probably because it's super loud in here and there's a screechy uh, chain playing looking for Rob. <laughs> Sorry. Are we able to see Rob now that we are in this space? Um Klaus and Pricely, yeah, you you both notice uh so Rob is dressed a little bit uh a bit differently than he was uh when Pricely saw him. Uh he's still got little horns and the page boy cap. Uh, but it's it's a black cap, and so like it's like uh, he he's wearing like less layer. He was actually dressed kind of like Dune, but in a trendy way when last Pricely saw him. <laughs> now he's kind of become the goth version of that, but with like like if you can make de black denim shorts look trendy, he somehow makes it. So you can see that he's also got goat legs. Got goat legs? I don't remember if satyrs are a thing in Lost, but I'm making them a thing. So fuck okay, it. Why not? It's your game. That's valid. There right. you go. Satyrs. I would say it. that it would take a lot of drink or a big favor owed to make uh, Dune look anything like trendy. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I, I will say that Pricely's, uh, 
Presley is the only one who sees the horns and the goat leg. Unless anyone wants to do a, a roll or a something, something. But, uh, not worth it. But yeah, so, so he looks like, uh, uh, in, on his mortal form, it looks, his, his legs barely look hairy at all. Like he's probably one of those guys that waxes. Right. Uh, which, you know, trends in some circles. But no, do I smell it on him as a, as a wolf blood? Uh, smell, smell what on him exactly? Uh, being a goat, his goatness. You know, you, you get a, a whiff of a musk that you're not sure is that or like a perfume, but it's it's like pleasant and kind of alluring. So you're like, ah, oh, okay, I can understand how this guy could could convince Pricely, the master convincer, to take drugs on a whim. I because you're, you're like, you know, I might be into this guy. I don't know. <laughs> Um, and class, you recognize, you've seen them around. This is, oh, okay. We have now confirmed yeah. this is the same Rob. Yeah. Somewhat happy uh, for my taste. And he recognizes, uh, Klaus and Pricely and is like, hey, like, oh, cool. You made what's it. Up? What's up? Hey. So. Oh, you say, say it again. I'm sorry. It's like super loud in here. Are you Rob, sir? Sir? Um, I'm Rob. You don't have to call me sir. That's weird. Mm. Dune calls we'll call everybody my... sir or ma'am or, you know. Oh my god. Dear, so my mother has, a, has 12 inch fangs and a very big insistence on manners. You learn them early or you lose your head. Oh, your wolf blood. Cool. Like, I know so many wolf bloods. They're like really cool. As do I, sir. So, so I, I mean, are you looking to party? Do you want to hang out? Like, what's up? I have another uh, person to party with, but I wouldn't say no to uh, spending a little time here if that's what is, what is required. Um. Okay. <laughs> would you? Would are you looking to party? Would you like to buy something? And he looks around. I and would he like, Can I help you, sir? <laughs> I am looking for a person named Valerie, dealing a drug that I believe that you also deal in. Or uh, something called Spike, as it were. Are you a cop? Because if you're a cop, you have to tell me. I know my rights. I've never been a cop, sir, not in my entire life, and certainly not now. Oh my god, Dune's like not a cop. Rob, Rob do you really think I'd be hanging out with a cop? Yo, I don't know. You are weird. My apologies that is I live in this system and you are a freak. Like, <laughs> it's cool, but Thank I you. don't question, like, I don't know you that well, but I have learned, like, I don't question Klaus as Klaus. Klaus is an experience. <laughs> and, like, I don't have, you know, doing your thing. I'm a little no, I hear you say that. But Dune is not a cop. All right. I, I don't know if I trust you, but I believe you. I know uh, that I'm yeah. oh, yeah. the the <laughs> They so, have far too many rules for my sort of taste. Oh, cool. So, so okay. Um, do you give off like a big bouncer vibe? So, I, I do spent, you work here? Because you're I not spent the best years as a bouncer at uh, Saga, actually. Oh, yeah, Saga. Yeah, that's that's a really nice place to like chill out. I so I don't not I don't go there that often, but yeah. you know, this is uh, this is more my scene, or this is the current. Red Fog asked me to find Valerie, and as uh, you, you, we have uh, a link between you two, I thought it best to inquire here first. Okay, um, but you're looking for something that she and I both do, because yeah, we yeah. run something. She's not. Uh, I for her specifically, the bartender asked me to find her specifically, but uh, since the bartender you... here, no, the bartender at Saga would like to have a word with her. Uh, the bartender wants to party with Valerie. I yes, think that is definitely ah, there will be some party going on. Sorry, <laughs> right, what was that? Pricely and was like really shrieky. Was, uh, I believe that the bartender does intend to do some partying, yes, especially with Valerie. 
Okay, yeah. He rolled a one, so I'm just going <laughs> to throw it. He, totally, he is totally missing the subtext here. So, oh yeah, I mean... Um, Michael has poisonous moonshine, unfortunately, as a wolf blood. So... Okay, so you, you want to party with Valerie. Oh, so you're coming to me because I might know where she is? Yes. But you don't want to party from me. Okay. If, I require, if you, a party is required, then I would happily partake of some moonshine with you. Oh, sweet. <laughs> yeah. Fen has my number. Like, that stuff. Oh, my God. Tripping balls. Yes! For me. So the werewolf like, moonshine is, is a wild oh. time. I it is. like. I thought. I thought glowing like changeling shit was good, but like moonshine. Oh my god. Yo, as they like, the, the bottle at Saga. Country sounds terrifying, <laughs> but oh, they brew good shit. Oh my god. Nice. So all right. Um. So Valerie doesn't really do clubs that much. Like. She does, she's, uh, yeah, I mean, like, you know, professional courtesy, but, like, um... I can appreciate that. She, she more does work in, in Steel Town, and I don't know, she's been, she's been working with some new outfit. She's kind of, she's a little creepy, to be honest. Like, this isn't her seat, like, she, she does harder stuff I, I don't know i can i can tell you where to find her it's not as much fun as this place i mean it's not as much fun as saga it's like it'd be very hard put to find a place that is as much fun as saga or indeed uh more fun than this place i i heard <laughs> half of those words so okay um that's probably he, accurate he, to the setting. He kind of flips through his phone uh, as I flip through my notes. Yeah, like I mean, she she works she works a a place called Grim, mm. which is you know, it's Grim, kind of a place good. to go when you've partied too hard and there's no coming back. So she's oh, into I'm some. Really right with it. Are you with it? Like I, when you said she was at Saga, I'm like, oh, thank God, maybe she's she's going to greener pastures. But this is this oh. place is fucked up. Um, no, Saga would simply wishes to have a word with her. All right. Um, well, they uh, Saga. Wh who, what's the bartender's name at Saga? Uh, Azel, I believe. Oh yeah. Oh the, the oh the Nova Court scary oh oh okay That's well, i mean i mean if anyone can can go to grim and not be fucked with itself so yeah i mean um Indeed. and he he's like all right i have i have fens okay so this is fens number uh so so yeah i, I texted it to fen so I yeah but i mean if, if you're looking for like actual fun uh, feel free to come back. Like I've got, I've got juice. I've got moss. I've got spike. Like I've got all the stuff. If I come back, yeah. soon, I will bring some moonshine, and we shall have a proper party. I, I think our definitions of party proper party might be different, but I am willing to try new experiences. Oh, moonshine! No, I'm definitely willing to try new experiences. So, <laughs> you know, diversify. This is cool. Uh, didn't didn't he already try moonshine? He was very. I mean, you know, as long as you know everyone's still cool here, and you know, fucking Archimedes Syndicate doesn't move yeah. in. It's like, oh, those people are terrible. Didn't those he already guys. Try, like, didn't he already try those, those guys? About earlier. Uh, do you say that again? Am I? Is my mic like soft or something? Uh, it's just when when multiple people talk at the same time. Okay. Um. No, I was saying, did, wasn't didn't he, didn't he already try? Moonshine like, was kind of enthusiastic about it earlier, or he was, a, and then he remembered what you meant. But and it's like, yeah, he's oh, kind of high right now. Okay, so he's never in the middle of a loud room. Moonshine, but uh, yes. okay, he is a satyr in his natural habitat. Okay. Fair. Okay, do you want to make, make sure from that one because I was confused for a second. So yeah, like um, 
Oh yeah, so Valerie, she doesn't run with like Archimedes level fucked up, but it's like kind of like uh, that's like more trouble than I feel like dealing with. Here it's all just like fun, fun, like you know, unironic first tier fun. There, so. it does seem to be the kind of place that does that uh, sort of thing. Yeah, yeah, Grim is you know exactly what it sounds like. Like, yeah. So, um, yeah, I guess. Grim sounds shady as fuck, but I'm not gonna say that in character. <laughs> uh, Klaus, would you like to roll your streetwise? Sure. I rolled an eight, and that will be a plus four on streetwise. Is there any attribute with that? Oh, yes. Um, I would say intelligence. Okay. 15. Three successes. Okay. So you've definitely heard of Grim. It is definitely not your kind of party uh, because A, um, bleak, B, depressing, C, boring. Mm. It's You haven't been there, but it basically sounds like more of an opium den than a club. And like, okay. so the really like, it's arranging from mellow to burnt out. And that might also be why you, you don't... You've heard Valerie's name, but yeah, she doesn't do the club scene, which is actual fun. She does, like, all the, like... She does more hardcore shit. And you're like, oh, yeah. well... When you're trying to escape from reality, you go to Valerie. Yeah. Well, when you're when you're trying to one-way ticket escape from reality on yeah. a permanent basis... Yeah. And not come back or leave a forwarding address, that's more grim in that area... So, yeah. I mean, we do something similar, except we don't do it chemically. <laughs> we disappear people, and we don't leave a boarding address, if you ask nicely. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, it is 10 p.m. now. Yeah. The next week we go to Grimm? Yes, we'll, we'll pick this up. Um, so if y'all want to brainstorm how you're going to approach what sounds like kind of a more dangerous place... More more dangerous and less predictable than maybe a uh, like hell bar. Okay. I Grim doesn't schedule their fights. Yeah. I need to not get dosed with something. <laughs> this is your goal. Go one what? session without getting drugged. What? I didn't session. even drug you once this time. I need to go one session without getting drugged. Just one. <laughs> But it's so fun when you yes and though. It is fun when I yes and. Like I, <laughs> I mean, if people if people drug priceley, I will play along. <laughs> On the flip side, um, you you kind of you're, you're going to be still high next time. By the time we hit Grim, like it's not going to wear oh, off. So your choices yeah. are to ask Klaus to drug you with an antivenin or something, or be high in Grim. So you know. Oh shit! Okay, okay. right. <laughs> Either way, I'm gonna be on something. Okay, I gotta run. But <laughs> all right, so uh, yeah, we will pick up next week when uh, our our heroes uh, wander Are we into really, the future <laughs> opium den, which may have harder <laughs> shit than opium. Yeah, or yeah, world's okayest travel agency, <laughs> the galaxy's I okayest travel agency. <laughs> We get shit done. Occasionally, shit gets done to us, you know. I love that like Dracus comes in with this like actual druggy character, and then Bryce Lee ends up being the one on drugs all the time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was about to say Klaus isn't on drugs all the time. They're just, you know, I'm just on drugs all the time, which means you can't tell when I'm not. <laughs> One of, the, one of these times, Miss Crisilla is going to find a way to flush all the drugs out of Klaus's system, and then it's just going to be <laughs> bad. <laughs> yeah. Magic. Well, farewell. Luckily, there aren't a whole lot of life mage or high ranking life mages in this town because reasons. Yep. Yeah. So, okay. So, um, hi, viewers. Uh, thank you for, for tuning in. Uh, 
this VOD will be up for two weeks if you want to show your friends our zany Space Age World of Darkness shenanigans. Or New World of Darkness, Chronicles of Darkness, I don't know. Fucking White Wolf. White Wolf, less acronyms. Exit to Eden. Yep. Uh, Nor Vikings in the future, sort of. Uh, a lot of other things too. Which I have a question actually. Um, is Grim at all related to the Nor Norse word Grim? Um, I'm not the biggest expert on Norse, but let's just say yes. Okay, it means mask. In uh, the I found it through another. It was like another word for another kind of monster creature, but like it was an, a random internet article, so I wasn't sure. It sounded German. Would it be related to the grim that haunt graveyards? Well, I'm trying to remember. And that. probably inspired Harry Potter. Uh, church grims are dogs that are done. So the first thing that was, so it was, the superstition was that anything that was buried first in a graveyard would stay there after death. So oh, yeah. for, a long, for a long time, the first thing they'd bury in a, in a, in a newly consecrated, um, you know, churchyard was a dog. And so the dog would hang around and protect the uh, gravestones and cemetery. Oh, yeah. And that, that's what a church grim is. You are the oh. first other person I have ever met who has known about that. <laughs> <laughs> I've done a lot of research into the word grim because uh, I've been working on a Viking story for like four years and the main character's name is Grima. Ah. So... I researched my name thoroughly before I chose it. Let's just say I'm thrilled I remembered what today's plot was and where That's I fair. put your character sheets. So I was definitely <laughs> looking at a list of Norse stuff, but I I don't know its accuracy and I don't know where on the page it was. But it was definitely like just Google Norse monsters. What's a nice okay. what's a nice word I can put on a creepy, creepy bar? Yes, Grim sounds fine. Cool. Oh, yeah. So, hey, you know, so yeah, no, no worries. Just, just you know, named after a graveyard spirit. Like, what, what could go wrong? Everything's fine. Everything's Nothing's fine. fine. <laughs> <laughs> Everything is permitted. But yes, thank you, players, for coming. Uh, I guess uh, Sunburst has has already scarfered. Uh, but uh, everyone else, I guess, introduce, give your outro and tell us if you have any online or want to pitch anyone else's streams or projects or what have you, feel free. I'm Ms. Chrysala, and that's my Twitter handle, and I'm also my usual Twitch handle, but I wanted to keep personal accounts and all this separate, because reasons. Mm -hmm. So, and you can pretty much just find me here. Feel free to bug me on Twitch or Twitter if you feel like it. So uh, next, Dune. Uh, I'm Merc. I played the Welsh Wolfblood uh, Dune. Um, and it's hard I, being the only wolf in the village. I, but it's even worse having werewolf Batman for a for an hunt. I am the goddamn <laughs> Batman. Yes. Well, see, but this is what yes and is good for. Yeah. <laughs> Batman um, wasn't going to be Welsh, but as soon as Merc started doing that accent, I'm like, thank you. <laughs> the gaming gods are good today. <laughs> anyway, um, uh, I uh, I watch Masters of the Metaverse on Mondays. I don't really do anything else online except for um, non-streamy stuff. So, like, this is the only stream I'm on. It's the only stream oh. I are any, are, I might be, but are, are any of us uh, possibly GMing at online Gen Con? I am, actually. I put in I um, three sessions for uh, Demon Hunters. I haven't um, signed up for anything yet, but I will I sent it probably after we get off today. So hopefully we'll send it in. But uh, yeah, I'm so I'm scheduled to run three sessions of Demon Hunters um, at online Gen Con. If you want to play, with, play uh, my games, we'll be heisting with Chapter Omicron 11. They're all said she had That whole cars. chapter is a bunch of cars, by the way. Oh, yeah. All said she <laughs> cars. That's why it's up, but... magic cars and demon cars, and it's awesome. Yes. And a haunted cab. Yes. Um, so, so that those, those adventures will be pre Jones only. So, you know, you can just show up not knowing anything, and I will hand you a car, car, uh, car character sheet, and we'll go. Um, 
And uh, but yeah, Masters Metaverse on Mondays on the Zombie Orpheus Twitch channel. That's my favorite show to watch. Um, it's got hundreds of hours of backlog on YouTube, and it will shortly have hundreds of hours of backlog on the Fantasy Network because I'm putting it up there today. Oh, uh, I didn't realize you work on that. That's cool. Yeah, check yeah, out no, the I, Fantasy Network. It's I believe it's some of it is not so much paywalled as Kickstarter walled, but tons of free stuff to watch. Yeah, that is fun and nerdy and sci-fi and fantasy, and it's awesome. Yeah, it's a lot of it's a lot of it's a free streaming service. Um, there are a few paywalls, but like nothing, nothing like uh, Netflix or anything like that. Yeah. Like uh, you, you can watch basically most of the content on uh, the Fantasy Network for free. So it's watch.thefantasy.network. Um, we recently revamped the site, so it looks much nicer and runs much better now. I was part of that. Um, and we're putting up new content. Uh, we're, de we're definitely up, like, up building a bunch of um, live stream stuff. So like uh, Void Jumpers um, from Zombie Orphans Entertainment and uh, the Master of the Metaverse is coming up on there. Um, but they also have like produced shows like Journey Quest, like Journey Quest, uh, The Hunted Encore, um, the Iron Detective, they have movies like The Gamers, all the gamers, um, Mythica, all the Mythica movies, um, uh, AFK, free, and it's, it's, you know, it's free. Uh, they do have some other language stuff, like I believe oh. Roland is in Scandinavian with English subtitles, if you want to watch it. Cool. All right. Uh, I will probably be running a metaverse module that some of you have playtested by a webcam. Yep. So... That'll be ridiculous, steampunky ridiculousness. So next, Klaus. Um, I'm Dracus, and um, my group, my D and D group from school, may be streaming on Tuesday evening at Founders RPG. Don't know. I have only heard from Maya as far as anybody saying when a good time would be. So. Yeah, I'll put and something on Discord when that happens. Okay. <laughs> but it's a 5e game in a homebrew world, and we're reaching the end of the campaign, so it's getting kind of exciting. Okay, what's the... Uh, you can put in chat the link to the oh, yeah. Twitch channel. I, I, can, I do not mind. I? <laughs> so, yeah. But, yeah, that's... My online existence is pretty much just the occasional D&D &D stream. And now this. Yep. Uh, I'm, I, I don't have any online stuff going on. Okay. Or social media, so. You and me both. This is the only thing I do. <laughs> yep. Good. Okay. All right. So uh, thank you for watching this week. Like I said, the VOD will be up for two weeks. I'm not sure yet whether I'm doing a full YouTube channel. I have heard other channels refer to their YouTube as the graveyard. I can't say I disagree uh, in some cases. So we'll see about that. Um, but yeah, uh, come back here. Uh, same space time, same space channel. And uh, we'll see you next week. Bye-bye. Au revoir.